yes, y'all, you know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925, but we are still married to the games. Episode 226, a yes, sir. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. You're welcome. We can't stop and we won't stop. Mm-hmm. Can't stop, won't stop. That's right. Uh, Chris, I mean, Tim. Ooh, here's the problem. I, just, I said, I said <laughs> Chris's switch? name. Did you the, point to me, but you actually pointed to Chris? The, no, the sentence that I was going to follow it up was, you're back from Disney, how are you doing? Oh, okay. But then I was like, that's not Chris, that's Tim. <laughs> that's, the, Chris, that's, the, that's the other money bags on the show. You just to Disney World, how are you doing? <laughs> doing great. Uh, I was there. <laughs> so who do you want to start, me or Chris? Uh, why don't you guys go at the same time? All right, ready? I'm just one, kidding. two, three. <laughs> well, I was driving. Oh. <laughs> one in the left channel, one in the right channel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tim, you go. Oh, You're so. back from Disney. All right. Back from, from Disney. Back, back from the land where animals aren't afraid of you. <laughs> That's right, of course. We had, a, we had a, like a flock of ducks walk up to Is it a flock of ducks? It's a flock of girls. geese. Isn't it a gaggle? What's a gaggle? Is it a g- gaggle, gaggle of geese? geese? Gaggle of oh, geese. What's a, of, what's a group of flock ducks of seagulls? Uh, mighty. Oh, flock of seagulls. <laughs> mighty. Yeah, the mighty ducks. The mighty ducks. <laughs> the flying bee. Exactly. A group of ducks can be called a flock, a brace, a raft, a team, or a paddling of ducks. What? Okay. You need to call them a brace. Who comes Is that up what you with said? these brace? words? I like that. Well, they're all really, they're usually just like what brace. people thought they looked like uh, 300 years ago. So sure. I had a raft of ducks come up to me last time I was at Disney. <laughs> and uh, we were like, eat all, eat all your fries. Yeah, we were like, get out of here, ducks. Like me and my buddies were out on the, uh, <laughs> we're out on the patio ha- sharing a cigar. I mean, we each had our own. Sure. We're like a puff, puff pass situation. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> it's a nighttime show. I don't know if you mentioned that. It is. It's going to oh, get so nutty. Yeah. If you don't have your seatbelt on, go ahead and put it on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll pause. Because before we started recording, was crazy. So yep. I don't know what that means for the rest of the show. Anyway, so we had a raft of, I mean, a brace of ducks walk up to us. <laughs> and um, a bunch and of we, ducks. We really, <laughs> we really were trying to like shoe them. And they would yep. not go away. We're kicking at them like, hey, man, seriously, get out of here. They're walking under our chairs. We're like, what is going on? Oh, yeah. At Casey's Corner, the hot dog place right at the Magic Kingdom, mm-hmm. if you sit out sit out in the little outdoor uh, tables, like they're, they will literally walk under your table and just like I felt their feathers on my leg the last time. They just they just hang out and wait for you to drop some fries. Right. They're crazy. <laughs> they it's are awesome. crazy. It's, awesome. it's like it's flies awesome. and it's like the mosquitoes in Texas. There you go. Mosquitoes in Texas are crazy. That's really just Houston. They, they're just, just not Houston. scared. Yeah, no, no they're, they're just not scared, scared of you. They're yeah. not afraid. <laughs> Golly, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, they're like, I'm gonna get this blood. <laughs> Sorry. Go Anywho, ahead. <laughs> back from Disney World, uh, it was crazy packed. It was basically spring break at the time, but oh, we man. had a. It was uh, it was really great. Piper just had so much fun with her cousins. And her ears. How her ears do coming back? Yeah, uh, coming back. Here's the weird part on the ascent. She was crying for like 10 minutes, and then once we leveled out and the descent, she was fine. Oh, but, good. But, uh, w- yeah, That's we cool. got our, we got, uh, we were almost done with our antibiotics. She hasn't been complaining about her ear now. At so least you got to prove good. everybody on the plane wrong. There you go. 10 minutes into it, they're like, oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah, right. We sat next to those people, and then she nope. was fine. Yep. Yeah, she was great. She settled Psych. in. She's a, she's a good traveler. She really is. So She sounds was, like, uh, every time you talk about her, I was like, wow, she sounds like she travels really well. Yeah, she does. And uh, and I love her for it. And it's awesome. Uh, interesting to note, uh, we came back to Nashville. In the baggage claim area, there were full-on cops with M16s ready to go. Are you and serious? So I heard about well, that. I mean, once, once that whole, because that incident happened while <sighs> we were down there. And so we, we were in Orlando and we went. We we got to the Orlando airport like another thirty minutes early just to make sure that the security line and everything. Yeah. And it, it actually wasn't that bad in reality. Um, but mm. I didn't see. I think most of the security was beefed up at baggage at the baggage claim area. Mm. But man, yeah, we we came down that escalator at, at Nashville Airport, and right there is a police officer, full M16, just ready, just right there, like. Jeez Louise. At, at the ready. So I actually felt very safe and and. Uh, 
It was great coming back from 70, 80 degree weather to 17 degree weather in Nashville. Ooh, yeah, and now right. and now it's freaking 60 degrees here. Yeah. So Nashville can't make up its mind. But anyway, we had a great time uh, in in uh, in Disney World. Everything was great and uh, did not get a chance to uh, take down the Christmas decorations the next day because it was like 14 degrees. And yeah, mm-hmm. uh, so we're, we were actually doing it this evening. We're taking all the decorations off the tree. My tree is like so brittle right now like you can essentially snap off all of the branches so it's a freaking fire hazard i was gonna say yeah, that's but, not um, a fire hazard <laughs> yeah but i have everything i have everything unplugged from it so there's there's no way it could it could really do anything unless it decides to spontaneously combust which shouldn't be the case which has definitely happened right so uh so yeah man just getting back in the swing of things this week and um I've got to have a quick little bragging moment for my nephew, uh, Liam. He is 16 years old. Uh, he came back a day early from Disney to participate. He does uh, what's called kendama, and it's like a Japanese version of kind of like yo-yo meets uh, like the, the ball and paddle kind of a <laughs> yeah. thing. Meets and frustration. Do, meets a lot of frustration. <laughs> Gabe did it once. It's got It's really cool. It's got these two cups on on one side and then a, a big spike in the middle and the ball itself has a hole. And the idea is to, you know, you can flip, you can, and uh, there's, a, there's a string from the ball yeah, and there's to a the... string attached to the ball. So you can, you what? can flip it up, you can flick it up and then there's a cup. You can land it on a cup. You can land it on the spike. You can, there's like three different cups to it. It's a very Japanese thing. What is this thing. called again? It's called Kendama. K E N. It's really cool. And Liam got hooked on it. Like, probably two and a half years ago. He is now uh, sponsored by uh, one of his, uh, one of the, the Kendama m- makers, really? Pineapple Kendama. And this past weekend, the reason why he came back a day early is because on Saturday in Nashville, they had a Kendama, it's called Battle at the Border, and all these different Kendama uh, kids. Was there a just, wall there already? That's crazy. Was there what? Was there a wall there already? No, no, we're good. It's all good. <laughs> okay. It was open. It was wide okay, open. Okay, good, good. That's what that bill was I got in the mail. All right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, but it said 50% off on yours. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> as long as I stay on this side. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Jeez. That's so awesome. So they, uh, yes. So they Dude, come. This was a nighttime show. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a nighttime show. You could tell. Because normally Ed's like, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the FCC is on the ready. So anyway, so he uh, <laughs> competed against some of the top Kendama players in the world in uh, certain, there's like different categories, and he won his entire division. Wow. And so, nice. Congratulations. Was, so does he have the opportunity to like travel, like go to other, other not, cities I mean, and he, stuff for that? He did. In uh, November, they had another big one up in Minnesota, and huh. uh, he beat, like in the first round, he beat the number five top Kendama uh, player in, in the I guess I don't know if it's in the world or probably in the U.S. Uh, it's mm-hmm. it's really big in Japan too. I think that would be one of his goals is to go over to Tokyo and and compete there. It's oh just, my gosh! It's just one of these weird little niche things that you never knew existed, and it's and actually it's a got huge a huge community. Yeah, it's a hmm. really big and uh, and growing community. So I mean, I'm so proud of him. He like we were getting updates. Dan was. Uh, uh, Gretchen was there and texting us updates while we were still in Disney World at the time. And like we get to the airport or actually we get off the airport out of the airplane and we get the text that he won. And there's a big picture of him holding up this huge Kendama with all these. Uh, it was just awesome. And Such you guys a- have to understand, too, it is not an easy thing that he's doing. No. Yeah. I'm just not looking it up. It does not look simple at all. Look up Ken- Kendama is K-E-N-D-A-M-A. Look right. it up on YouTube. And uh, I think his is Liam Jr. or something like that. If you look him up, dude does all these like tricks and flips and uh, it's just amazing. And he he just loves it. This is something that he gravitated to and has been he practices like every day and he totally deserves it. So he won his his whole competition there, which is amazing. I so, think he I was, let me try it and I spiked it the first time. And, and I was then, like, and then you put dead. it down. <laughs> yeah, you put it down. You're like, we all, I was dying because yeah, he was we'll like, be leaving with a try it. You're like, boop. You spiked it and you're like, okay, here you go. Back, back <laughs> exactly. to you. So, yeah, it was awesome. So, uh, um, let's see. What else is going down? Just, you know, it's January now. We're trying to get settled back in. Um, on the, I think that's it for me. On the gaming front, uh, just The Last of Us, The Last of Us, The Last of Us, man. Nice. I've been three, I'm so three glad mornings. you're playing that again. I'm, dude, trust me. I am just 
beyond excited and I'm having so much fun with this game and it's it's just as good if not better than the first time I played it. I don't remember a lot of this stuff too. That's like awesome. I'm at I uh I'm with Henry and Sam now. So I know what's what's uh what's coming up and I but I didn't remember like when that actual moment happened until I was right at that scene I'm like ah this is where it happens. Yeah. And um it's just it, there's there's still some challenging uh, parts to it as well. I mean, it, it, it's it's just so good. I just love it, and it, and it looks great. And you gotta I just, listen for the you gotta listen for the bad joke that Ellie tells Sam while they're walking around. It's, oh yeah, it's really endearing. Like it makes the thing like yeah, kind of like, an endearing just, time. I I've been really enjoy I've been enjoying listening to the conversation, and that's why I don't talk much uh, when we're doing the gameplay. Only like during more of that the the stuff that that I can just do like all the cutscenes. I'm usually quiet and everybody mm, can, so everybody yeah. can listen to it. Um, but man, it, yeah, just all these little interactions and stuff. It's just really cool. Even the, even different looks from Ellie or Joel, like it just really draws you in. It's just so good. And I'm just, I'm loving it. It's just awesome. So, uh, I think, uh, I'm gonna try and, finish it well i don't know when i'm going to be able to finish it now but i'd love to try and get it done by like next week just i, I looked at my stack my stack of things to play and i'm like i've got to get moving there's just so much to play right and now now with the uh, horizon zero dawn around the corner mm-hmm. uh it's it's gonna get even crazier but that's early yeah, february man. isn't it the horizon yeah, yeah i believe yeah. so i think i think yeah right around there so it's uh it's gonna be nuts but that's uh, that's pretty much it for me. Oh, you know, I haven't been doing Piper's topic of the week. I apologize. Um, the topic of the week this week was I, it, we may have done it before, but it doesn't matter because we saw her Cinderella. We uh, ah. got our picture with her. We had lunch with uh, with her up in her pal at, up in the palace. Oh, how was that? It's good. She's a slob. <laughs> yeah, she's a total slob. She's, she's eating she's that turkey leg, just going floor. to town on she it. She doesn't use yeah. her hands. No. <laughs> Your just feet no. face down in the plate. Exactly. She's just yeah. What's a utensil? She makes the mice feed her. <laughs> Question: Does does she have an accent? No. I will say the the Snow White princess sounded exactly like Snow White in the movie. Very high pitched, sweet voice. Wow! And she really nailed it. I mean, she was in character, totally nailed it. I'm like, that's a pro. And uh, wow, it was, nice. Yeah, it, it was. It I don't really, remember really what cool. Snow White sounds like. I wouldn't have known. It's really high pitch. It's like a bird. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And uh, we also got stuck on the frozen ride. Had to evacuate. It was the no greatest way. thing ever. Uh, it was so awesome. I know, right? <laughs> it, yeah, of course I you love did. when that. I love when that stuff happens. Uh, we got stuck on Winnie the Pooh once, and so they had to they shut it all down, and then we had to get out of the little cart and and walk through the the actual ride to get out to the exit. Mm. In this case, we're in a boat. We uh, were we're kind of backwards because then it, the the track changes and then you go forwards. And so we're just sitting there for like 10 minutes. Music's still going. Lights are still down. Next thing you know, the all the lights come up. And then you hear over the intercom, uh, water shut down, water shut down. So then they sh- you just it, everything just goes quiet because like there's like waterfalls wow. and like pumps and everything. All the pumps go off. So you're just sitting there. <laughs> well, uh, all of a sudden you're in Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, frozen of terror or something. <laughs> so we um, so then uh, once they say water shut, th- shut down, then they were they, they had it nailed. They had this the whole system, the procedure, the process. Everything was just boom, boom, boom. Wow. Uh, next thing you know, cast members come out. They say begin evacuation. They have a like a little ramp that they uh, pull out to you uh, so that you can cross over the little gap where the water is between the boat and the, the platform. Mm-hmm. And so then we had to walk back around and outside and then loop back around. And then we all got f- uh, free fast passes for it too. So wow. it was really I think cool. that was cool. Seeing like that oh, behind the scenes she, kind I of thing. I think she was a little nervous. Yeah. Um, I was loving it. I'm like, this is great. I get like, mm-hmm. I think Lauren actually Insta- Instagram, the picture of it too, which is awesome. But they tell you like, once you get out, no, no pictures, no audio, no video, anything. You just have to follow them. Oh, really? And they do? So we, yeah, we went, we went through the whole cast member area and, uh, and then out, the, out toward the entrance and that was it. But it was really cool. I, I kind of, I love when that stuff happens and, and, and as Disney is, they're super pro at it and they've got a, they've got a procedure for everything. Yeah. So it was that it was, was really, crazy. Really cool. It's like let it go. <laughs> let it go. 
<laughs> the she head spins around. Dude, you you're supposed to be made off. of ice. Your <laughs> right. That call never bothered me. <laughs> her face falls off and you see the animatronic right. behind her. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It just like slides down, starts melting like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love you. <laughs> you're like a seven-year-old in the background like, oh, my God. <laughs> They're all freaking out. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, find a happy place. Find oh, a happy I'd place. I'd love to see that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Wow. It, was, it was really, really cool. I will say, man, with the all of Disney's new rides, the animatronics is flawless. Oh, dude, that really? stuff looks like, it is I don't know how it's flawless. happening. Like, uh, it. Elsa, so Queen Elsa is up on a platform above you, and she's, like, doing all these arm motions and hand motions, like, to the song, to everything, and it is, it's, it's flawless. It's amazing. Wow. So, yeah, they've really stepped up their, uh, their animatronics game. Uh, saw part of, uh, Pandora at Animal Kingdom, um, which is the, the new section that they're going to have in Animal Kingdom spe- 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 specifically for, uh, uh, Avatar. Yeah. And oh, so, uh, so they're doing a, they're doing a whole. I know I'm I'm really on the fence with that because Louise. I'm like, why why did you pick that? But man, when you go to the studios, like there is construction everywhere for Star Wars, which is oh, yeah. super exciting, cool. and they have they have posters everywhere, and it's it's just going to be so cool. So I've talked way I too bet. long. You go right ahead. Oh, you're good. All right, Chris. All right. I'm How was your trip to Disney World, Chris? <laughs> exactly. It was so great. And then I woke up. I was like, dang, I'm not really oh, in Disney. I didn't go to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me living through Tim. Um, <laughs> That's right. So all I've been doing we uh, at work anyways is we've been preparing for – we're doing some shooting this week. We did a few – a little bit this morning, which is why we had to record in the evening. And then I'm going to be recording uh, all most of the day tomorrow as well. Um, so just been coordinating for a bunch of those projects. So – over the weekend, um, all I really did was watch a lot of football. <laughs> and nice. Stacy and I, and actually, Stacy, um, she did a whole lot of cooking because we're doing the whole thirty again. She wanted to do mm. it another for another oh, nice. month. And so mm-hmm. I was like, "All right, cool." And so the, when she does it, I mean, she likes to cook in general, but whenever she does the whole thirty, she likes to make like the food in bulk and like save it up all these yeah, different yeah, meals sure. so that she doesn't right. have to wake up and Upper cook where? you know the breakfast and everything. Yeah. yeah. So uh, she did a whole lot of cooking, and she actually. Starting on Sunday and then has been doing it most of this week, um, the area where she's working right now, she's helping another team out and they're having to redo um, the layout at one of our stores because I think they're just trying something different out to see if they like the way that it works. But to do it, they have to do it overnight. And so Mm. like right now she's at work. She just left like about an hour ago. Oh, Um, wow. wow. Yeah. So she's having to work all night. And then like I hear her come in and that's when I need to be getting up to go to work. And so we're oh, just man. like kind of ships passing in the night, really. So I haven't really got to right. see or or hang out with her very much, just for like a couple hours each night before one, after I get home before she has to take off and go. But I think oh, this man. is actually her last night that she has to do it, and then she'll have off tomorrow, and we'll hang out tomorrow. And we're actually gonna go do. Um, I have a friend that is. She was in a a movie like they shot a movie here locally, and it's premiering at one of the the theaters we have here. Mm. And she's going to be oh, premiering awesome. it tomorrow. And she had nice. hit me up and said, hey, you know, if, if you want to go, I can get you. I have X amount of tickets I can give away. So it's looking like we're probably going to end up going to that. But I just got to I know for sure I'll probably be going to it. But I don't know for sure if Stacy's going to be going to it. It kind of feel, depends on if she's feeling up to it. I think she'll be right. fine because she'll have all day tomorrow to sleep. But I don't yeah. want her to feel pressure like, oh, my gosh, I was doing all these overnights. And then I got to go to this other thing. But then at the same time, that's going to be like what her body's schedule is tomorrow night. She should be wide mm-hmm. awake and good to go. So what we'll movie is see. it? Yeah. I was about to say, is it anything we've all heard of? Star Wars. No, I know it's a whole, <laughs> Rogue, no, it's not, Rogue it's one. not, yeah. no, it's La just La something La that was shot here locally and it's only going to be showing in some of the local theaters. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a horror movie. I, I don't even remember the name of it. I can't, Sweet. I can't think of it off the top the of my bye head. Bye man. No, it's not the bye bye man. Cause that's one of the things too. <laughs> Stacy like cannot like, she's freaks out about anything remotely scary. So I was like, look, Another mm. reason you may want to say no. <laughs> this is supposed yeah, to be yeah, horror. I'm like, I don't know. Like, is it like hardcore, like horror, like really scary, or is it just kind of jump scares? I don't really know. Psychological. So, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. yeah, let us know how that is. I like that. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. And it's the first time I've ever gone to anything like that, even you know, here locally. So it's gonna be cool to see that. Um, Gaming wise, so I've had one of those weeks where I just I don't really feel like like I want to play something, but then I sit down to play something and I look at all the games I have and I just don't really nothing's really. Yeah, jumping out at you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Been there. 
So I did play, I played a little bit of Overwatch, but I, I am a little burnt out of it because I played so much during the holiday event trying to get those skins. But <laughs> right. it's still fun, so I can play, rather than play for like hours, I'll play for like, you know, maybe 20 minutes, get like two or three matches in, if that. Yeah, exactly. And then I've been playing some more Hearthstone, I got went ahead and got to the level 20 in the rank, so that way I could at least get the card Good. back, and then and then jumped back into the just the normal play to mess around yep. with stuff. And then all those new cards that I got from the free card packs, just kind of playing around with them, getting a feel for them and everything. Yeah, man. It, it, some some are really good, and some are like, why why would I even use this one? Yeah. What class are you in right now? Uh, I've mostly been playing the Shaman. That's usually the one I play the most, but I, nice. I have a deck for Hunter, and the only ones that I don't really play, I don't play Rogue hardly ever. Like, I have oh, a, one built, good. but I almost never use a Rogue. And then uh, the Priest. I don't use the Priest very often either, but I pretty yeah. much balance between the rest of them. That's so funny, because Shaman, or Shaman, however you want to say it, yeah. is It's more fun to say Shaman. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's de- that, that one I, I can't figure out the right deck for. The, yeah. But Rogue, I, I poo-pooed Rogue for a while, and then started one up and had a great deck and was slaughtering people with They have some good cards in that one. Yeah, they. I, really I mean, cool. I get destroyed by them sometimes, too. I'm like, oh, I should play that. But I'm kind of like the same way you are with the, the Shaman, where I'm just like, I just can't figure her out. You know, it's like, yeah, I, yeah. I'll put it in these cards and be like, oh, this is going to work really great together. And, and, and then it, it doesn't, slammed. or it does, but it doesn't <laughs> yeah. work as well as I thought. And I was like, oh, well. But Fun game, anyways. though, man. It's nice coming back to it. Yeah, it is. It's been. I've had enjoyed my time with it. It was definitely a good thing to have, like in between plays, and I'm like playing on my iPad while I'm watching football. So that was a lot. Oh, of fun. that's cool. Nice. And then, so I was feeling like, you know, I can't really find a game that I want to play. Maybe, maybe I should buy something new. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that's on sale because it came out earlier in the year. It's like I really feel like I want something narrative, something maybe even linear. You know, I don't really want an open Ooh. world, whatever, where I got to figure out what I'm gonna do. So I was trying to think about it and think about it, and I was like, Tales from the Borderlands. I'll, oh, I'll, yes. go, I'll go give that a huh. I'll go take a gander at that and it turns out I don't know like if it was a PS plus thing along the way or what the deal was but the first episode I already had and I had mm. like it was like in my library so I just had to download awesome. it awesome so Telltale's pretty this. known for giving the first epi- episode away for free so you probably yeah. definitely grabbed it real quick yeah I I just feel like Man, that seems like the kind of thing where if I would have knowingly got it for free, I would have played it right away. But I guess mm. I didn't because I, I never played it. And so I went ahead and downloaded it, played through the entire first episode. And the first like half of it, I was kind of like, yeah, this is OK, but it's not really like doing a ton for me. But then, like usually with me, with the Telltale stuff, it's t- it more up. towards the end. I start getting more interested and in, like I'm seeing more of the dynamic of the characters. And then, yeah. you know, obviously, it ends on the cliffhanger. and You're like, oh, OK, well, now. Now I'm going to have to get the rest. And the, the season pass, if you will, is only like $15. So mm. it's I'm going to definitely get it and play through the nice. rest of them. That's and awesome. I know a lot That's of people, great, including Ed, has really like touted this game. Yeah. And so I was like, I that need to That was one of shot. the games I was going to play on uh, for Extra Life. And then Battlefield came along. And I'm like, I should probably play that first. But yeah, Ed, I know you swear by it. You think it's awesome. I have the whole uh, season. I just need to do it. So Yeah, it's so I will fun. say the one thing um, about it is like, like Troy Baker, we all know he's awesome. He, mm-hmm. He's great at what he does. But it's like whenever he, because he's so all over the place, it's like when he's in a game and he's just doing his normal voice, it kind of takes me out of it. It's hard for me to suspend yeah, like right. disbelief. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of other people. Yeah. yeah. Like when he's Joel, it's like I know that's Troy Baker doing Joel, but Joel sounds like Joel. He doesn't sound yeah, like right. Troy right. Baker. But yeah, then when I hear just another game like... and it's just his voice, just his normal voice, it's like, all I'm thinking is Troy Baker, and it kind of takes yeah. me out of it a little bit. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's so. interesting, man. That's a really interesting perspective because I know, like, when I'm when I'm listening to him as Joel, I'm like, how is he pulling this off? Because it sounds yeah. so good and yeah. so not Troy Baker. You know, mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. it's amazing. Yep. But it's it was a good episode. I'm good to go along with it, and uh, I'm probably gonna buy the other ones probably sometime this week, and then just download them and play them throughout. I don't know. I probably won't even get to it until next week because I since we're shooting the rest of this week at work. And then over the weekend, it's going to be football again. So I'm probably not going to yeah. be playing it anytime soon, but probably starting oh, Monday, look Tuesday. Look at me. My team's in the postseason. <laughs> <laughs> look, y'all are all more than welcome to jump on the bandwagon. I mean, Wait, who I are they playing? I don't know where who it's going after this weekend. weekend. You know, hopefully who are they playing this great. weekend? They're playing Green Bay. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's going to be a good game. Yeah, because Aaron Rodgers is on fire yeah, right now. And it's the last yeah. game of the weekend right now, too. So you got to wait all the way till the Sunday evening game, or the yep. afternoon game, I mean. So, Golly. it's going to be good. Anybody catch that college championship game? Oh, yes, sir. 
I did. Uh, amazing. My gosh, it it went a long time though. They stop play in college a lot. Well, yeah, yeah they stop it every, every time you get first down. <laughs> Well, yeah, and then they reviewed like way more plays than I expected them to. Like, I don't you watch college what? football all the time. I didn't realize I'm, they stop it that much. I'm not a conspiracy theorist guy, mm-hmm. but like, it felt like every time Clemson got on a roll, they needed to check something out all of a sudden. Yeah. And it was like, and it was always like, really, I, listen, I'm not on either side. I don't freaking care who won. Yeah. I was, um, I was going for Alabama, I ha- but I was happy but, either way. Yeah. Yeah, because the storylines are good either side. Either exactly. homeboy gets the you know the sixth championship and gets the tie for the be- most ever, or the other guy gets his first one. Yep, you know it was great. But and keep not, in mind, Jalen like, Hurts is eighteen years old, eighteen year old quarterback for Alabama yeah, playing in the crazy. national championship. Yeah, he was you know awesome. what I liked? I really liked like how he just does emotion wise on his face. Looks like he don't even care. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Yep. I just did this. Yep. I love no, that when he focused. goes running into for that touchdown, and then he's just oh, like, oh, yeah, it's incredible. Okay, whatever. I love yep. that. I wish more players did that. I think yep. that's so awesome. Yeah. But that was awesome for the Tigers. They they deserve it. I love Dabo Sweeney. I think he's an amazing man. He's an amazing coach. And uh, and it, it was just great all around. It was a late night, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it really was. Yeah, it was. What, like, end at like 11.45 or 11.30 yeah, I thought or something? we were going into overtime. Something like and that. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be Yeah, it was going to be brutal. If they, if they yeah. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for overtime a little bit. Yeah, I, me too. But <laughs> There's nothing like scoring with one second left. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, Absolutely amazing. Just, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, Chris. Continue. No, no, no. That's that's it. I'm I'm, all, I'm just waiting on football next weekend, and those were the games that I played. And uh, on to, I guess, Mr. Ed. Yeah. What did you think about that Bama game, Ed? Yeah, Ed. Uh, <laughs> I was, was playing Mary Poppins in my head. Yay! So. <laughs> <laughs> that's how boring football is to Ed. <laughs> I'll think about Mary Poppins instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch cartoon Just a penguins dance. Full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going going well here. Um, uh, this week, Sarah and I officially announced that the studio is coming to an end. Yay! Yeah. I mean, so y- yes, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. It's a good thing. It's it a is. good thing. Yeah, it's really sad, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's definitely a bittersweet thing. And uh, I, I think there's definitely. Uh, a weight has been lifted just because Sarah's been dreading the action of telling people. Yeah. Just because, you know, she doesn't want to, you know, you have to, it's, it, you've started to say goodbye to people. Yes. And uh, so that's been, I've been glad for this week just because it's like a weight has been lifted. So that's been nice. And so, 90s yeah, R&B good. has told us over and over. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so to hard. To say goodbye. To say goodbye. It is. To yesterday. But it's easier to <clears throat> say if you've got three guys behind you singing harmony. So it's easy. That's, that's very so true. true. That's exactly know, right? what they taught us. It's, One's got to have a cane, though. That's right. <laughs> they flew Gabe and I down uh, over to Lancaster so we could do that for <laughs> exactly. Ed and Sarah. That was yeah. really nice of you guys, by we, the way. We really. were there for you, Ed and Sarah. We were there for you. Yeah. <laughs> I was glad that you could fly into Motown Philly. So that was exactly. nice. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what, how are people Beautiful. taking it, though, on the For Real For Real? Uh, you know what? They're taking it pretty well. Um, Sarah was just afraid of, you know, people being upset or angry or let down or what have you. And for the, for the most part to our faces, they've been very supportive and very nice. Right. right. I don't know what the real story is, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's been good. I think for, for a lot of people who go there all the time, it, it, now it's like, oh, where do I go now? And and so, yeah, I mean, when you find a safe place. Yeah, they appreciate yeah. what you've done, and once they get settled in somewhere else, I think they'll appreciate you guys even more. So, and, and the the real fun part is hearing the people say, "Oh man, I wanted to get out there and take a class." It's like, well, you had yeah. a year, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you had yeah, a chance. Right? It's always that way. It's That's always the that fun way. part. Oh my god. So yeah, the real fun I don't part like has the been beard. The... <laughs> I, know, right? I don't even know Just, you. <laughs> the smarmy comments between ourselves at home has been the real fun part. Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh uh, no, gosh. it's been good, and it's it's funny. Like, just uh, Chris nailed it on the head. I've been wanting to play something, and have just been like, uh, just kind of scrolling through my game library, hoping that something will be there that I never saw before. And like, yeah. oh wow, this amazing game that I've wanted to play, and and uh, yeah. so I've been Life still is working. Not on... Always the forensic files. I know. Right? They can go back and take another look, and they're like, "Oh, there was a shoe print here." Yeah. Oh, there's a yeah, a massive fingerprint right in the middle of his back. <laughs> Who knew? How did we miss Who that? Knew? I know, right? <laughs> it's it's circled in sharpie even, and um, <laughs> so I I've been playing uh, Borderlands a bit and kind of 
I just kind of getting a little tired of it. I went to Borderlands 2 and, and didn't last as long, and I went to Borderlands, oh. the pre-sequel, and lasted even a shorter time. Ah, and then just like, hey, I, I, know. I applaud you for sticking That's a good it college out try. like that. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. But uh, then tonight, um, there's a song that Sarah Zumba, uh, choreographed a Zumba routine to by uh, Skrillex. And yes. every time she plays it, I'm like, that's the song from Far Cry 4 when yes. you're burning the weed fields. Oh, and, that's and in so three, in my actually, head, isn't it? Isn't that is in it three? three? I think it's it? three. Oh, yeah. man, maybe it is. But yeah, who, cares? who cares? Who mm-hmm. cares? Just, it, just it go is with three? it. I missed yep. it because I, I, I went to our YouTube page to, to look up Far Cry 4 to be like, I want to watch that scene. And I realized... We don't have Far Cry Four up there, so I think I might pick that up again. And, and uh, oh, I'm so and, jealous uh, right now. That. There we go. There go for it, dude. Go yeah. for that. Oh, that's so great. Does that mean I can put Far Cry Primal up then? Since we don't have that up there. Yeah, you can Heck put Primal yeah. up. Yeah, oh, go okay. for it. I'll do that next. Oh, you know it's our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Your name you is in the description like. now. Yeah, exactly. I know, but I'm the I'm the newbie, so I look up to you guys. No, you gotta fly. Uh, no, man. No, if we go there and it's there and you're belly dancing, then we might have to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in the lower Ooh. lower left hand Men- corner, but the most of it is Tim dancing. <laughs> he's That's just right. doing, he's just doing it to to video game music just to make it relevant to why <laughs> it's on right. our channel. Exactly. And then we're like, hey man, why'd you put that weird picture in picture? What? There's picture in picture? <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing it. It's just him in a hula skirt, and he's just going, Troy Baker, Troy Baker, Troy Baker, over and over again. Troy Baker, like, Troy Baker, no, hey, Troy Baker, hey, count. Troy Baker, hey. Oh my gosh, that So are you going to play Far Cry 3 or Far Cry 4 if that song I don't was know. in 3? I guess I wanted to play the one that, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to go with 4, I think, because I just downloaded it, so. Well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, do 4, man. 4 is awesome. Either, either one you're going to love, but 4 yeah. is awesome. Ugh. 4 is fun, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll try that, and... I don't know. I think the next game coming up that I'm excited about is, I think, Sniper Elite 3, and that's still a ways away. Yeah. Yet, so. nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 4, nice, or nice. whatever it is. Next. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, what's going on over here. Nice. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> uh, Mr. Patillo, what's going on with the kitchen, with the honeydew list? Talk oh, to man. us, brother. I still have all my fingers. Yay. So that's a start. That's good. Awesome. Um, you didn't grind the anymore. Black hand model is back. Mm-hmm. And so uh we me and actually Router are gonna be switching places. We're doing what? Uh a show down in Orlando this weekend. Oh sweet. We're gonna oh, be at, wow. <laughs> not Disney World, <laughs> not Universal Studios. Uh oh. But the lesser known and more uh picket people attracting SeaWorld. SeaWorld? Oh ah. great. Nice. So that's a little weird. Yeah, because I haven't been to a Sea World since I don't Black know. Fin. I was like, <laughs> like I was seven. Was Blackfish? Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, we went like three years ago, and it is it was a weird vibe because it was empty. Yeah, like, and people are wow. like, and people are like uh, uh, upset. Like I was yeah. rushing, o- like I was like rushing our family to go over to see Shamu because normally Shamu is like uh, really packed, and there was like barely anybody in there. No, oh, Shamu got like, an agent now. Well, you know, I think they're not doing that anymore. <laughs> they're not doing what? They stopped doing the whales in in Cali. I know they they're doing their last whales this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And then the so the hopefully one... the people have spoken and are being heard. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Steve O's out there. I'm I know that's for sure. Not in the. I have no idea why people are mad. So they were like, "Hey, don't talk about it." And uh, <laughs> and um, then you were like talking about we what? Like, and we were like, what? And they're like, uh, the Sea World thing is a little weird for some people. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, I don't work at Sea World <laughs> 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 or for Sea World. So, uh, yeah, so definitely watch Blackfish after you get home. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what I. And that, that's what somebody brought up just last night. I was because I was just kind of asking questions, like, I mean, what the freak? And they're like, oh, this is a documentary, you know, kind of lays fish. it out. And so, I, you know, I get it. Like, in the, they explained it, like, the whole captivity mm. thing and yep, yep. not getting treated right. And, you know, it, it just reminds me of that Chris Rock bit because I feel like he nailed it when <laughs> <laughs> with, with Siegfried and Roy. And <laughs> talking about how, <laughs> it's not funny that homeboy got attacked by the tiger. No, that's no, no, sad. No. 
Right. But Chris Rock just points out the fact that people were like, that tiger went crazy. He's like, no, that tiger didn't go crazy. That tiger went tiger. He said that tiger went crazy was riding a unicycle with a little hat on. Like, look at me, I'm a crazy tiger. <laughs> so, uh, so um I'll be down in Orlando and I'm taking Amara. Oh nice. Oh, oh this, wow. will be, nice. this will be the first uh, trip that like daddy just takes Amara on the road. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. She loves She's penguins. gonna love it. Yeah, she oh, loves penguins love it. and I think they've got dolphins or something. Again, I haven't been to SeaWorld. So <laughs> do do the just guessing. Uh, the seal and sea lion show is really it's cute and funny and uh, and it's really good. She'll love that. Good, good, good. Well, it just sucks because if if there is like a bunch of protesting going on, that's what happened when we took her to the circus. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh yeah, no, it's going to bad things over and over and over again. I or, know, you right? know, because it's one of those things. Like when you're out of the know, you're not meaning necessarily to support something that's no, it's entertainment. No, not man. at all. You know, you're what there I mean? to be entertained and have a good time. But but then you also understand kind of what people are saying. Like I I haven't done the research myself, but. Right. You can like, you know, look at a sign and be like, oh, OK, I mean, I can see that. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, you know, you just never know, you know, how the lion feels about it until it attacks someone. <laughs> right. Until <laughs> right. the lion is a lion. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. Becomes a uh, lion. Yeah. Right. And so um, we'll, we're going to be doing that this weekend. Very nice. And, oh, uh, that's awesome. So that'll be fun. And then. um uh what else? gaming wise i got some final fantasy in this week uh, yeah which is a good time i did get and i'm same as chris i got in some overwatch and i really was playing mainly just to hang out with still and uh stancil and gill nice. nice i combine them i just call them still still and gansel <laughs> yeah still still. And gansel. <laughs> uh that sounds like a group crosby stills and gansel <laughs> <laughs> well played sir yeah, well exactly. played <laughs> um so uh but i i did want to play that new map i hadn't played that new map yet and so uh oasis i didn't mm -hmm. I, I didn't get hit by a car like i was hoping you can get hit by cars <laughs> on there uh, you can i mean you gotta kind of go out of your way to do it but yeah you can't get hit by a car <laughs> really yeah i don't think they're like going through the middle of it that's what i like thought i was like oh man they're gonna you have to like fight and jump up over them yeah. while you're shooting people yeah that might have been a little more interesting that's not the case, huh? That was the impression I had. Nah. Oh, um, yeah. Well, that sucks. They should change that. <laughs> next, <laughs> next update, guys. Um, so, been doing that, but uh, those are the only two games I've really been playing. Obviously, I've been playing that Clash Royale. And I got to give a huge shout out and thank you to Uncle Bread Fan. What? He sends me a text earlier this week that just has Mario jumping on it. And he's like, check your email. And he bought bought a, the family a Super Mario Run, a little ten dollars oh, nice. certificate. Look at that! Look at there. that! What the a guy! Apple Store. I know what a guy that Chris. that Chris McCracken is a that good Chris fellow. McCracken. I don't care you know, what you said. That that Troll sad story about Amara being like, maybe we can just unlock this. And you're like, Daddy. I know. I, heard I was that. like, like oh, I got to I got to turn that uh, frown upside Uncle down. Uncle Bread fan <laughs> delivers. Well yeah, done, and that's sir. why he's Uncle Bread fan. That's so right. she's been playing that. I've been playing that a lot. And, uh, <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Are you enjoying no, it now? Now, now that the weight of the ten dollars yeah, is that off, that's are you enjoying? You could just are you enjoying the game, or are you getting tired of it? Like, what's your what's your feel? I mean, there's the challenge of of beating it, and so the completion yeah. in me is like, just go through the worlds and just get the thing. Because uh, <laughs> what you don't know is that she wants to play the levels, but the ten dollars doesn't unlock the levels. The ten dollars unlocks that you can play them, so you still have to play them to unlock them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the fact that she wants to play the next one, that oh, can I do this boat? And you're like, shoot, man, that's four levels away. So you got to go through and beat the levels, and <laughs> oh. then she can oh, but play. You can you see what I mean? what's involved in it. So like, you can see five levels up as a boat one. You can tell. Yeah, like the like oh, that's there's cool. like their grayed out picture. Mm -hmm. and so, oh, okay, but I got gotcha. you. The boats are usually the um the what would you call it? Like the dungeons at the end yes. of uh -huh. the worlds. So some of them are like the first one's a dungeon and then like the next one's a ship, like a, you know, floating ship, like from oh, three. Nice. So, uh, that's been fun. Just, you know, I got to do my fatherly duties and unlock these worlds, man. Sorry. <laughs> hey honey, I got to stop doing this tile. I got to go uh, play some levels for Amara. 
Right? Exactly. Exactly. Would you recommend someone spend ten dollars? Is it worth nah, it? Man. You... Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it um, is. Just tell Chris how much your kid wants to play it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just do a yeah, sob story to Chris and get you the game for free. Um, you know, it's <laughs> it's one of those things that it, <laughs> it, I don't know if it's worth the ten dollars, but be, uh, but I can see that. Ish. How do you say it? I think that some people's personalities would really be drawn to it. And mm, then it okay. would be really worth the $10 and more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you got to realize guys like, and not like I got to tell you guys, but like on <laughs> iTunes, right? You go to top grossing games. Mm-hmm. They're all free games. Yeah. So yes. people spend money on games. That's, you know, right. obviously. And so uh, for me, this game in particular, it's not one that I, I think, not not that it's not worth ten dollars, but I'd beat it, and I'd probably not go back and do any of the worlds ever again, hmm. any of the levels. Yeah. Um, yeah, they do have the rally that you can kind of like go up against other people on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see myself doing that because you're kind of racing someone, and it's like you versus somebody else. So right. usually I go and do that if I wasn't unlocking the levels for Amara. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So, um, but it's still it does look like Mario, feels good. The reaction time is a little bit weird when you're jumping off an enemy. I feel like you'll sometimes spin hmm. and then sometimes you'll jump if, you know, it, the distance thing is really weird because you don't have to be right on top of them to jump off of them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so there's little things that they'll probably dial in. But uh, we can go talk to them when I'm uh, the the adult on Liam's trip to Japan to do. There you go. There you go. His, his yo-yo. <laughs> his yo-yo. I mean, if he needs a, chap- if he needs a chaperone, you know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> They'd be like, where's Liam? I'd be like, oh, no, man, he's somewhere doing his yo-yo thing. <laughs> <laughs> yo-yo thing. Uh, what else went on? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I got to, I don't know if I talked about working with a girl named Gabriella or Gabriella um, before, but she's a new artist. And I've got to kind of help, um, not choreograph, but just help with, they brought me in as a performance coach. And so I did some of that oh. back in November and then she's actually got some uh she's got a what do you call it, a showcase that she's doing in LA next week or in two weeks. Is hmm. she the one that subbed for Nerva when she was not at the no. show? <laughs> no. Totally different. Oh, okay, never not, mind. Not this girl, Doc. Sounds like a story. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, she just is does not Christian music. And oh, so, okay. okay. Uh, you know, she's got like ah. the whole like sexy thing going on. Uh, okay. Vibe. Yeah. Uh, okay. And, All right. And so, yeah. And so it's it's definitely like an L.A. You know. Yes. Thing. Yes. It makes more sense uh, now. <laughs> and so it's uh it's it's cool to and my buddy the Toby's, uh, MD, our uh, band director. It's not what MD stands for. Obviously, it stands for music director. But um, <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh, <laughs> he's a doctor. Yeah, he's just a doctor, pretty much. Um, he he was brought in to work with her because her manager is um is an old buddy of his, and then uh. um, he teamed up with uh, a guy named Kevin Jonas, who's the Jonas Brothers' dad. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And yeah. so um, they're kind of developing this girl, and so they were they were telling Dave like, man, we kind of need a performance coach because they've got the music down and Dave's doing the band and put the band together. Oh, they're like, cool. do you know anybody? And he was like, oh, you should call Gabe because I've done some of that stuff before in our world before. Yeah. And uh, so I went in there and did that. And so it's, it's, it's fun to watch it grow. You know what I'm saying? This uh, little young girl and um, she's got a really good voice. And, um, and so, you know, we'll see what happens. You, you know, the, the, you know, this thing's fickle. You know, yeah, just because yeah. you have all the all the pieces don't mean that it works. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. It's kind of like a IKEA dresser. Right, You're right. Like, right. well, all the pieces are here, but why do I feel like cussing somebody out? <laughs> <laughs> so it still fall apart. Um. So anyway, that was fun. I did that today, and then I I'm, I'm gonna go do that two days next week or a day next week, and then she heads out to L. A. It's gonna be I'm gonna be like the uncle, like, all right, tell me how it goes. That's so cool, I'll man. Be with you. That's awesome. So, go shake a tail feather. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, that's all. That's all I got going on. I, I don't even know. And then we head out. On, we head out on tour in a couple of weeks, and 
That'll be interesting. I'm trying to figure out what game's going to keep me warm at night mm, before the go. Switch comes out. Yep. And I don't know what it's going to be yet. Good luck yeah. with that. How's the, kitchen? How's the kitchen, man? The kitchen's good. I got one more um, floating shelf to put up. Mm -hmm. We've nice. been drilling into tile. Was I drilling into tile last time we were talking? Uh, you were getting there. That you were is making stressful. outlets. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Be stressful. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, I tiled last week. This week I'm drilling into the tile. That's stressful just because like, I did, like I did three test pieces. Yeah, they all broke. I was like, dang yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, that I was like, sucks. Well, yeah. Here we go. Out of test pieces. So I guess mm. the next test piece is, is the wall. Is there an actual tile bit that you use? or? Oh, yeah. Diamond yeah, okay. tip. Diamond yeah, tip, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it ain't no joke. So that's what I spent the whole friend. Golden Globes doing. No, oh, nice. Was, uh, installing tile. That's hilarious. And I was really wishing I was with Ed. Like, you know, you ever like go through something, you just miss somebody that you feel like would fit the, the situation perfectly. Oh, yeah. sure. That's how I felt I about Ed and the Golden Globes. I was like, why am I not with Ed right now? Watching I, the miss Golden Globes. I miss Ed every day. Yeah, exactly. Aww. Sitting on the toilet. Like, oh, man, where's Ed at? <laughs> I can't reach the toilet paper. <laughs> um, Ed, did you watch the Golden Globes? I didn't actually. What? Wow. <laughs> I, I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> yeah, but Ed, like, that's Ed's Yeah, real that's Ed's world. World. Why man, would you not yeah. watch that? Yeah, I totally expected him to have watched it. Yeah, it's weird. For some reason, I came home and I watched the intro, because uh, they usually do, yeah, like, a big number or whatever. And then, that was good. for some reason, I just, uh, it was kind of like the whole gaming thing this week. I just couldn't find it in me to watch it, so I didn't. Here's the question. You yes. watched the whole opening monologue? I just watched, uh, not even the monologue, I just watched the production number they did that was, like, yep. kind of based off of... Uh, was it La La, La, La Land? La Land. Yep. Yeah. That was it. That was it. Dang it. I know. Sorry. I'm a little let down. Well, I'm glad I didn't watch it with Ed. Cause... <laughs> I want to post something. Uh, speaking of the Golden Globes and Jimmy Fallon, I wanted to post something. Uh, there was a really interesting YouTube uh, piece about Jimmy Fallon. And you know how we were talking about how Jimmy was, you felt like he was kind of faking it. Yeah. There was a really good, uh, like, I don't know. It's not a theory, but it's it's more of like an observation of what he does and of of why he does that because it like and they they do these comparisons when he's interviewing people yeah. like when he does his fake laugh and then turns it off like it actually helps engage the guests that he's interviewing. So I huh. want to post it up because it's really fascinating and it actually made me appreciate him more and realize that you know he may act that way, but it's totally genuine because it helps enhance the experience for both him the audience and for his guests. And it was really, mm. really fascinating. So I'll find it and I'll post it up because I think, I think it would be really cool. But he, mm. I, from all the highlights I saw, it looks like he did a great job. So Yeah, he did, he did a Chris Rock impersonation. Which oh, was, yeah, he everybody that. was talking about that. Really funny. But yeah, but everybody was talking about it in a negative way. But the joke he said was really funny. He was talking yeah, about was really? the people versus OJ Simpson, <laughs> how they'll thank everybody but OJ. Right. <laughs> and i thought it, i mean he also he does this whole bit but it's like that's the punchline that's it's really funny because it does make yeah, you think good. like yeah nobody goes up there you know homegirls always like and marcia clark oh my gosh i look up to her so much thank you right, right. for just being who you are <laughs> and of course you can't thank oj because of the terrible thing that happened but all at the same time you're like y'all wouldn't be here right. if it wasn't for the character right. that is oj simpson I exactly. did see people getting on his case about his Chris Rock impression, which I thought was surprising because it's not like he's never done it before. Yeah, he's, you know? and he's it's done not it like you're times. expecting it to actually be like a good impersonation. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. well, well, on Saturday Night Live when he did that, everybody laughed. So yeah, it's not I, Jay yeah, Farrow was... doing an exact copy yeah. of Jay Z in them. You know, I just thought that anyway. was funny. Yeah, is this a gaming podcast or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it can be. I've gone off on a freaking tangent. Sorry. We can make it. Back. We can turn <laughs> yeah. this ship around. Let's go. Seriously. And then I went to the chiropractor. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just engaging until we get back to football. <laughs> <laughs> so you take another nap. I went to my ear, nose, and throat doctor today. There you go. Move uh, on. What's up next? What's up with the news? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Timmy, you got it? I got this, brother. Well, let's do it! I'm 
just waiting for you to do. Let's get into the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I hope to never do that again. That uh, awesome. Please do that again. It was awesome. It was Hopefully so great. Hopefully there's another 224 episodes before yeah, we do so that. Yes, right? let's, that, let's make that a goal. Uh, okay. Not a whole lot to speak of this week. Uh, ACA Neo Geo Fatal Fury for the PS4. And is ne- Ryzen- it's titled Neo Geo? ACA oh, Fury? Neo, ACA Neo Geo. Neo Geo. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Uh, and Rise and Shine for the PC, Xbox One. That's pretty much it. None of these games of which I know of. So mm. uh, that's it. We should, should maybe have MPD uh, for December, December next week. Yeah, it gotcha. may, may be next week. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But I'm really curious to see the sales numbers for video games, for consoles over the holidays and see how good or bad it did. Or And I'm really looking forward to it. Mm, right. uh, man, shoot, man. We did have that one oops, Gabe, and I love you for it. It's amazing. Oh. Uh, at I am Drew. <laughs> Gabe said Star Wars when talking about coffee. Not sure where he's getting that from. <laughs> I meant to say Starbucks. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> I, and we all, like, I think we all just, like, went with it. Just like you did the whole Miss Cleo thing versus Miss Chloe. Yeah, and I didn't even it's notice. Like, you, you said Star Wars and, and Dunkin' Donuts, and I knew exactly what you were talking about. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. We're not going to. I'm yeah, not going to. Well, that's what communication is, if you know it. what I was talking about. Right? See, we're exactly. all, it just means we're all on the same page, and it doesn't matter. Exactly. It's kind of like those, I, ex- you see those articles where it says all these words are all jumbled. It's like, if you can read this and you can just read right through it, like you just know what they're saying. That's exactly. kind of how it was. We knew what you meant. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Roll with it. Exactly. Our brain switched it to Starbucks. That's what we We heard. got you. Mm-hmm. Even though those are two very different things, somebody could have said something. Yeah. Very true. Do you mean Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, some people like Star Wars, some people like Dunkin' Donuts. You're like what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, I like petting deers, and Jenny likes carrots. So <laughs> opposites attract. There you go. I'm like, All right, Paula Earth? Abdul, let's move along. DJ Scat Cat. <laughs> exactly. DJ Scat Cat. Yes. Oh gosh. Uh, oh. Chris McCracken. Well, like Mr. Tim said, hopefully we'll get some NPD information and find out a lot of these holiday sales stuff from uh, December. But we do know that mm-hmm. the PlayStation 4 is now at 53.4 million units sold worldwide. Wow. wow. And between from November 20th through the year's end, there were 6.2 million PS4 consoles sold. Wow. Um, uh, that's a it, bunch, right? Does yeah, that that's, include a, pro, that's a lot. Does that include pros or is that the straight up new slim I believe it's all inclusive. Every SKU, yeah, mm, but every it doesn't SKU. say specifically Still, in this article. Yeah. But yeah, I'm that's pretty sure for... it's all all SKUs. That's pretty amazing. I'm curious right? what what Xbox did. Is that sold or shipped? I missed what you said. Uh, this says sold through. Oh wow! So oh, that's man. incredible. Like, woo. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Jeez Louise. But I'm sure I I I got I'm sure Xbox is up there too though. I mean, yeah, there's no yeah. way that they didn't have a good I holiday season. I saw so too. many people flying out of there with Xbox Ones everywhere. And yeah, so mm. it's the season, man. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it all went well, but that's, that's a pretty significant spike right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Geez, it's like, when is, is at some point you just think, like, okay, it's, it's going to, you know, hit a wall and it just mm-hmm. hasn't yet. <laughs> yeah. Like, how many people out there still do not have a PS4, you know? Right. It, it seems like it's not till it reaches that, like, 100 million mark that there's yeah. people are like, and a third of the country has it, so we're going to, everything's good. <laughs> yeah. um, Joe Carnahan is how I'm going to say it. Okay. okay. He's a writer. He, he wrote uh, a bunch of episodes of The Blacklist, uh, The Gray, oh, cool. mm-hmm. The A-Team. Uh, Smoke and Aces, which I actually enjoyed more than wow. I thought I would. Oh, Smoke and Aces, yes. Yeah. Pride and Glory has finished the script on Uncharted. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Nathan. that'll be. <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> um. So it's no, going to be no. directed by uh, directed by Sean uh, Levy or Levy Levy, I'm guessing, uh, who did yeah, so. Real Steel, Night at the Museum, the internship. Mm-hmm. Wh- uh, which right. is the internship, the one I really liked with that Robert De Niro. I don't know. No, did you? No, that's a that's a what's his name Vince Vaughn, and I didn't like that. I didn't. Oh, see the that Google one. one. Oh yeah, the Google movie. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Uh, I saw what's the one with Robert De Niro. Yeah, he's I know old you, and interning. Is that, uh, 
Yeah, with uh, Anne Hathaway, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know the name movie. of it. Was it The Intern? The Intern. This, uh, the yeah, and the other one's The Internship. He did yeah. Date Night. Date Night was funny, too. Oh, yeah, that was good. Hmm. Uh, anyway, he's directing uh, the Uncharted movie. So I, I, they've been working on this since 2009. Why? Wow. Don't you think, do this. You think, you, th- <laughs> you think don't do it, Tim? I think don't do it. We have it. It's called Raiders of the Lost Ark. We don't need another one. Oh, man. I mean, okay. Yeah, but they so, jacked that, that franchise Well, that's up. true. They did. They, <laughs> right. they pooched that one big time. If they don't care, why should we care? <laughs> Here's the thing. The way that it's going to be successful is that Nathan has to connect with the audience because you love Nathan for who he is. Yeah. Uh, and we know, we all know him and, and he's awesome, but he has to connect with the audience in uh, that movie in order for it to make sense and to, for them to like it. Who needs because, to be Nathan for you guys? And Nathan Fillion. I, I really do oh, think I he would probably that. do a pretty good job. Yeah. Ever since. Really? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, whenever I, I heard Ed say his name that one time too, and I was like, well, now that's all he's seeing in my head. Cause they, didn't they have um, Mark Wahlberg at one time, like tied yeah. to it potentially like that does not fit at all. Isn't he a little that does thick not fit though? at all in my yeah, head. He's too thick for that. Why does Robert Downey Jr. Keep popping up in my head? I mean, he's wise cracking. See, he would be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, if he's, that's, the, old, that's what I'm though. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, he's got to have that personality that people just gravitate to yeah. in order for you to really like him. Because he is. He's a, he's a smarty pants. He's funny, you know, and, you know, he's, he's a guy's guy. And, mm-hmm. and so you need all of that in this movie in order for it to, to work. Yeah. And who knows? Then may, maybe they'll prove me wrong. And maybe this is like the next generation Raiders of the Lost Ark that we're all hoping for. But if the track record for video games to movies is any indication, it's... Not gonna go well. Yeah, I mean, man, we we. Uh, I want it to be. I mean, I, I'm still not to gonna good. go see Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like, if it comes on on Stars like three months from now, then I may watch it. But I'm not going to. The, <laughs> I'm not spending the ticket, in the movie theater to go to the movie theater and watch it. I. What about like yeah. Bradley Cooper or something? You think Bradley could do it? Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. He's funny. He's yeah. as Rocket as Rocket uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's really funny. I was going to really say Chris funny. Pratt, but I think he's a little too goofy. Yeah, a little too goofy. And yeah. On, yeah, and he's everywhere right now, so... Yeah. We haven't seen yeah, old Chris... Coop Dog in a minute. Yeah. Right? He could ruin like his career that. on a video game movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine. Uh, He'll exactly. be great. He'll be totally fine. <laughs> yep. Um, Chris, what you got? Well, we might as well go ahead and talk about the big one that we found out this week that Scalebound has been yeah. canceled. Yeah. Wow. That's, That's surprising. Sucks. And I did say a while back that that I thought that game was going to be in rough shape, or it was in rough shape. I didn't think they were going to cancel it. Yeah. I just thought it was going to get like a big massive delay or something, but... Do we know yeah. like how much how much it was completed? Like, was it done? I don't know, but I, I mean, when you saw the gameplay for demos this year, and stuff, right? it looked pretty far along. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it was supposed to, it was supposed to come out uh, in 20... Well, it was originally supposed to come out, I believe, in 2016, and then I think it got pushed into 2017. I mean, they oh, put so Recore yeah, they out. Been, it would have been done. Yeah, they did put Recore out. Did they say why they canceled it? They didn't. Um, Phil Spencer was... Uh, he was talking to some you know people on Twitter or reaching out to him and everything, and he did say... He just said it was a difficult decision. We believe the result, uh, the result is better for Xbox gamers, but it's still disappointing. I'm confident in our 2017 lineup. That's that's mm. our focus. That's wow. all they're yeah. really saying. I saw and a then quote the, too. I didn't know who it was, but it was from Eurogamer. It said, "With continuing issues surrounding the game's engine and overdue deadlines, the decision was made that the project could no longer continue." So I wonder if it wow. was just that they was like just they were getting to the point where they're like. Dude, we're not going to make any of this money back. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's Probably. true. I'm sure from the since Microsoft's the one who's paying for it, essentially. I'm sure from their end, that's what it got to. They just reached a point where they're like, "Look, we don't think our return on investment is going to work out here." Yeah, so, and I mean, once you reach that threshold, you might as well cut the cord. Yeah, but Destiny considering... kind of powered through that though with the amount of money they spent. But I feel like with their their recent track record with their exclusives, they're probably like maybe we should be careful because yeah. like Quantum Break, I really enjoyed it, but I was I believe I'm in the minority in that. Yeah, you were in and the minority. And they dumped on that. a lot of money into what? that. People didn't like that game. I know it's weird. 
Yeah, there's a lot of people that didn't. Care well, much too, for if it. you look at if you look at Platinum Games too, I don't know if there's many huge games that they've done. Yeah, right. Uh, you know the Bayonetta series, uh, that Transformers game that I played a little bit of. Right. They're, they're <laughs> one of those good. teams, kind of like a uh, Telltale, where it's like they've been biting off it seems way more than they can chew. They just keep making all, like everything. They're like all over the board and making all these little games from this one, you know, Scalebound, this real big AAA exclusive to all these other little things like you know the Turtles game and then the, mm-hmm. the Transformer game and yeah, all mm-hmm. this other different stuff. They're it feels like they've been stretching themselves a little bit too thin, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like this was bound to happen. I didn't think it would be this game, but I thought there'd be something yeah, else really. that they've announced we're working on that they were going to have to be like, all right, uh, never mind on that. Yeah. Right. 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 That, w- that really shocked me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I Going mean, back- go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I don't think X- outside of that, like Xbox doesn't have a lot that we know of right now, currently coming out in 2017. This is like one of their three yeah. or four big titles supposed to come out this year. I thought so, so. To completely nix it, it had to have been really rough shot uh, shape. Mm-hmm. That sucks, man. Yeah, it's too mm. bad. Um, going back to the movies a little bit, just want to remind everybody: we ended the year off with a bad video game movie, mm-hmm. and it looks like we're starting the year off with a bad movie. We are. Uh oh. Resident Evil is out. We're about hey. to come out here in January. Oh really? Uh, have you guys seen any of those movies? No, I've never seen any of them, but I know. Back when the first few came out, I had friends that loved those movies. I loved the first one. I saw the first one. Wow. Yeah, I didn't and know I was they like, had movies. What? Mm-hmm. I this never is like what? I mean, oh, not yeah, to exaggerate. Man. This is like the eighth one. Yeah, really? yeah. the eighth one. Wow. Yeah, this is the supposed to be the last one in the franchise. Yeah, the I guess. final oh, chapter. That's that's but what Mia Jovovich I, I, was if, doing all those years. Yeah. Right. That's why I made the joke about Homeboy destroying his career because we haven't seen her in like anything else but Resident Evil movies. Exactly. Wow. Mila Djokovic. She was in a, what was the other big one she was in? Was she in a Fifth, Fifth Element? Element? Fifth Element. Yeah. yeah. Fifth oh, Element. Okay. That okay. was kind of her breakout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked that movie too. That um, was a great. But movie. I really don't know how many Resident Evil movies there's been, but there's been a bunch. Yeah. Wow. Uh, gosh, I, I want to find it now because I feel like there has been. Okay, here we go. Resident Evil started in 2002. And then Apocalypse, Extinction, Afterlife, Retribution, now Final Chapter. Every two years almost. 2002, 2004, 2007, 2010, 2012, what? 2016. Well, wow. 17 it'll come out. They must be making money. Oh, yeah. Like I said, they've got a definitely a, like a cult following for that series, if you will. That wow. is crazy. Directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. What? Who is yeah, that? I've never seen any of them. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of Wes Anderson. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's way different. Oh my god! That's gosh. awesome. He did Alien Wes versus Anderson. Predator. Right. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And all the Resident Evil movies. Um, oh, that's what so else funny. you got, Chris? Well, it, it would seem sticking with the entertainment, the like TV and whatnot. It. Seems that Clueless Gamer is going to be moved from just a sketch on Conan's show to an actual series. Yeah. And, yeah. and he may not even be the one who's the host of it. Right. Oh, no, well, let's no, get no, on that show. That. Somebody make know. a phone call. Ed, <laughs> who do we know there? We got to know somebody. Does anyone know Andy Richter? You're a, <laughs> you're a Hollywood Connect. Oh, great. You guys are yeah, in trouble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Tell Sean T to holler at somebody right, I quick. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know that's so crazy about that. I was just so sad to hear that he's going down to one night a week. Who yeah, is? that was crazy Conan. too. Conan. Conan. No, Conan. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, that's yeah, it's like, oh man. Can Seth Myers go down to one night a week? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, <laughs> I'll trade you. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, I'm a big Conan fan. I know he's like a little weird. I'm, and yeah, his, I'm with his, you. You know, no, Conan is great. I didn't think that uh, the Tonight Show was going to work for him, though. I didn't like either. The, you like saw they that coming, that, like, this is not going to work. Mm. Yeah, because when they announced it, like, granted, it was, like, years early, but it's just like, you watch his show, and then you watch the Tonight Show, and it's like, I don't think these this humor here is going to work for this audience. <laughs> no yeah, way, man. Exactly. No way. At least way. they gave him a chance. Wait, never mind. Yeah, they, <laughs> they did not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it would have gotten better, though. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not one to hate on stuff. Oh, yes, I am. 
but I'm not one to. <laughs> it's not in public. I'm not one to publicly hate on stuff. But your inner monologue will, is. I, I'm, I'm I'm going crazy. to right now. But I've I have wanted to tweet at Seth Meyers show so many times. Really? So like, yeah. There's no. It is. Have you watched it, um, Tim? I've seen some highlights on YouTube. Well, you can't watch the highlights. I know, but it's I like just watch the no, highlights I, in a baseball game. You're like, oh, baseball's exciting. Oh, that's two highlights in nine innings. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I'm like, because like for Jimmy Fallon, I'm on his YouTube channel, so he'll post a lot of the different guests that he's got. So you yeah, don't yeah, necessarily yeah. watch the whole show, but you kind of get the the meat and potatoes just, of it. Mm. And, but I have, I just have no interest, none. Mm. Chris, what about you? You watch? No, I don't. I don't Ed, watch. His, I watched the first couple, and uh, I haven't tuned in since. That's, See, here's the hard part. I didn't love Fallon when he first got there. Yeah. And so oh, I watched okay. the first couple and fell off too. And then my buddy was like, man, just go give Fallon a try. And now I freaking love Fallon. You know, yeah. now he's got the Tonight Show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but man, that Seth Meyers thing, I thought it was going to grow on me. It's like I'm forcing it every night. Yeah. It's like taking cough medicine. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to like this and it's going to make me better. I really wanted to like <laughs> it more than I did. That's for sure. Yeah, me too. I mean, I loved him on Weekend Update. I thought that mm-hmm. was that's oh, his yeah. niche. Yes. That's exactly his thing. Like yep. he just needs to stay there. But I, you know, and I they realized did that you switch. Need to bridge. They did switch. He used to monologue at the beginning, like everybody else, and it was right. so bad that they did switch it to a Weekend Update now. Mm-hmm. So now oh, it comes in really? and goes Seth Myers, and he's sitting at his desk, and then he just does the news. Yeah, that's huh. smart, and that also means that they're kind of struggling for ratings, though. Too, and it's or, funny, and I watch that part every night. Okay. Yeah, See, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Because um, his delivery on those is always good. I, yeah. I always loved his delivery mm-hmm. when he did that. Yes, right on. He's funny. I think the writers he's got for that is funny. Yep. Um, so I didn't know this, and I learned something from Twitter today, which I don't know if means I need to kill myself or... <laughs> oh, <that>. man. <laughs> it's a good start. It's a great way to lead that one in. This is, the, this is the end of knowledge for me. Like, if I'm learning things off Twitter all of a sudden, um, that uh, the big boo... And Super Mario World can be. Oh, beaten. yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. I always just ran from him. I did not right? know that you could slide down the stairs and kill him. Huh. Mm. Did you guys know that already? Well, Tim, you didn't play it, but. I didn't know. Ed, you knew that already? I didn't know that, no. But that is how you get rid of ghosts. <laughs> Sliding down steps. <laughs> yep. Why didn't they try that in The Exorcist? <laughs> they should have just slid her down the steps. That's right. As her head was spinning around, a lot of she's vomiting everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But no, and I was I, like, I, you, I, would, I would just turn it. around and run. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> right. I didn't know either. So you could kill a big boo like that. And it looks like going through some of these gifts, um, the blade can be beaten as well. Huh. Um, you know, that little um, thing in the corner, w- which has you run up the wall, like you running at it. And then there's a little triangle in the corner. You hit that. Then you can run up the wall. And then anyway, if you just go up to the wall and then slide backwards, you can beat the blade. Wow. And you wow. can beat the torch. What? Yeah. And when you turn into the statue, you can land on the torch and get 100 points and kill the torch coming out on the ships. I learned so much today. Wow. There you go. Good for you. <laughs> Did it make you want to go back and replay those games? I have Super Mario World here. There you go. I'm going to have to try it, which I love. That's why I love uh, retro things. Right. They allow you to do things. What else you got, Chris? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, man, Chris. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just kidding. Retro just, things, I'm, they I'm, allow you to do things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of retro things, at CES this year was something called the Super Retro Boy, hmm. um, which, which um, allows you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games in the machine. You just need the cartridge. And it's got a 10-hour battery. Hmm. 10 hours is a long time, Jack. Uh, it comes in black and white, black or white, and will cost $80. So the prototype was at CES 2017. I really kind of want to go to CES, I think. I heard it like, kind of feels like a swap meet where there's like, so <laughs> much crap. Really? That you yeah. have to like really like sift through before yeah. you get to the good stuff. Yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, once you get to the good stuff, you find the freaking uh, Super Retro Boy. Right by ret- retro bit. There you go, uh, Chris. What else you got? 
Uh, let me let me check. <laughs> Still uh, shoot. nothing. Still nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Still nothing. Back to you, Gabe. <laughs> exactly. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, Ed. Yes, I don't have any news either. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look you're, at me. I don't you're have just my killing, hand up. You're just killing time while you're scrolling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what you got on the YouTube channel that there, brother? Let's see. New this week, we've got The Last of Us Parts 4 through 7. Good on you, Tim. Yay. Mm. Final Fantasy 15, Chapter 5 and 6. Good on you, Gabriel. Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Ooh wee! So, oh yeah! Ooh wee! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Looking at our top ten YouTube videos, combining the average watch time and views for January third through the ninth. Number ten, Hugh Part Ten University. There you go. Number nine, Hugh Part Eleven, the ending. Number eight, Married to the Games, episode two two five, P New Year. <laughs> P New no. Year. <laughs> Number seven, Watch Dogs Two Part Twenty Four, Alphabet Soup. Mm. Number six, Watch Dogs 2 Part 48, Ghost Signals. Oh, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, that's a new one. I don't think that one's uh, popped up yet. Yeah, yeah. Number five, Ori in the Blind Forest Part 14, Thornfell Swamp. Oh, yeah. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Number four, Watch Dogs 2 Part 6, Bottom Dollar Complete. Number three, Watch Dogs 2 Part 5, Bottom Dollar Fail. Mm-hmm. Yes. Number two, Watch Dogs 2 Part 19, Paint Job. There yeah. it is. And number one, Gabe and Chris react to The Yay. Last of Us Part 2. Oh, Back on top. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> gentlemen. You are welcome. I'm resting in the lead. I need a pillow and a cover. All right. Uh, but the... <laughs> <laughs> that was Little Wayne followed by some gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> that was Little Wayne followed by Little Wayne falling down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little Wayne didn't see them stairs coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well every week we ask you guys a question what is going on with this show this show is crazy this week i love evening shows uh, i know right <laughs> um we asked you guys what is your go-to board Chris, game what else you got <laughs> <laughs> uh, well this just in i got a big bag of nothing see <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you should it. just made something up like just made some story up that we all all couldn't believe that'd have been amazing um we asked you guys <laughs> what <laughs> don't try to do it nope um we, <laughs> i'm not that good on my toes <laughs> <laughs> we asked you guys what's your go-to board game right now oh yeah 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 i want to hear this Wolfman on the forum said, my girlfriend and I are board game enthusiasts. Nice. Our main go-tos are, of course, something I can't say, uh, Carcassonne. Carcassonne. Car. <laughs> Keep going. Case. Comedians in cars getting coffee. <laughs> C-A-R-C-A-S-S-O-N-N-E. Carcassonne. Can you, put that, can you put that in a sentence, please? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, be like, he That's opened good. up the refrigerator to see a dead carcassonne. <laughs> the guy uh, working at the morgue wondered what the carcass is on. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> May I have the definition, please? <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. Um, and Pandemic. Isn't that the one you said, Ed? Oh, yeah. That's a great yeah. one. Yeah. But additional games we add in the mix are Seven Wonders, Seven Wonders Duel, Star Wars Rebellion, mm. Forbidden Desert. Ooh, nice. Mm. That sounds personal. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> that sounds personal. His, his girlfriend just slapped him in the arm. You told him about Forbidden Desert? <laughs> I should have said, for, said Forbidden Dessert. That would have been funnier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Burgle Bros and Ghost Stories. Nice. Huh. I've not bros. heard of any of them. Any, I know. I, I haven't them. either. <laughs> they sound good, that's for sure. But he's an enthusiast. That's the yeah. thing, man. They, yeah, man. You know, we've never heard of none of this They know what they're talking about. Exactly. They, they know. D-mil, we don't have to. They do. Yeah. D-Mill 86. Survive Escape from Atlantis is our go-to group board game. Nice. Man. I that need to step awesome. my board game up. He yeah, said, I uh, do too. And while... Uh, it is technically a card game. We've been playing a ton of Dominion. 
It worked mm. really well as a two-player game, which is why my wife and I play it a few times a week together. We even have a tally count for wins tilted who's dominion. Oh, man. We yeah. even have a tally count <laughs> for wins titled who's dominating dominion. Nice. I, I am currently in the lead. Nice. Greg Legg said Ticket to Ride is the most common game mm. in our group. Uh, mm. Most recently, the rails and sales version of New Year's Day, which made my head hurt in a good way. Huh. I've not played Ticket to Ride. I heard it's really good, though. Yeah. Over on Facebook, Jeff Swan said Exploding Kittens. Yeah. Hey. I like this one. Seth Roy said Candyland hashtag life with a three-year-old. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's good. That is um, right. Jason... Dang it. Why do I pick the ones that I can't freaking. I love it. Lirette. Lire. He'll know. Because teachers have said it like that his whole life. <laughs> Jason. May knows. I have the definition, yeah. please? Jason does. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Wonder Woman pulled out her Lirette. Okay. Um, <laughs> what? I was trying to. Uh, some with lasso. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, I hate monkeys. My, <laughs> my son received uh, Munchkin Legends as a Christmas gift. Sweet. Really fun. Really fun game. Even though we offended the neighborhood. Weird. Oh, good. What? I'm just Great. kidding. Because uh, they were called Munchkins. Um, he Aww. was. He has already purchased two. I'm joking. I, I added that. He has already purchased <laughs> two ex- expansion packs. The only problem is my wife, his mother, keeps beating us. I know that's wrong. Um, and D High said, uh, I have to go with Seen It, the DVD oh, nice. board game. Ed's played that one. Yeah. Monopoly always ended in an MMA match in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by my mom grounding everyone. <laughs> that's amazing. I say that's a win win right there. <laughs> that is really funny. That's awesome. I grew up in a similar household. <laughs> Over on Twitter, we got the Wraith Unit at Wraith Unit. Does categories count as a board game? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Hashtag yeah, it does. Billy brings back some beans. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's just a hashtag they use all the time. Oh, yeah, because you have to get, uh, they have to start with the same letter. All the answers do. Yeah. Oh, categories? Yeah. Oh, categories. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Scrabble. <laughs> Chris, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Chris. Um, Splig at uh, Dopalicious. I don't call no other man Dopalicious. Anyway, King of Comedy. Uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, he said Dominion. Did I mention it's a 1030 show? Yep. Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, Mike BC at Mike BC 1985. We have no, we just, does anybody else hear the subscribers going away? Yeah. I hear them going away. Yeah. Yep. Nah, man. Uh, he put up a game called Zero. He said, Zero plays like Family Feud got mixed up and wanted you to find the least likely answer and Ooh. then became a board game. It's great. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that concept. That, that's great. I, you know what? I thought about that too. And then I thought, would that be extremely annoying? Because everything could be the least likely answer the bottom yeah. answer is always the least and you're like what who's what yeah, yeah who who's, said that who yeah. said that right yeah who's the worst backseat driver it it's seems like, it seems very Pat. subjective yeah <laughs> yesterday <laughs> <laughs> yesterday's an answer nobody would have said yeah exactly um well you guys know where to find us if you still do <laughs> they're listening twice still, this week or still want to <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> facebook.com slash married to the games twitter.com slash mttg cast come check out the website married to the games.com uh and peruse the forums and be like yeah these guys are annoying we're, we're leaving uh <laughs> talking about us and uh like Ed said, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash married to the games. There you can also be like, yeah, these guys are annoying. We're out of here. Um, oh, who wants it more? That's the question. Bama or Clemson? Ed? Uh, I'm just confused. Um, rate us on <laughs> iTunes. Leave us a message. Uh, and uh, uh, leave a review. And uh, Forrest Gump was on Alabama. Oh, I know that. 
Oh, yeah, the, the football team. Okay, all right, good, good. Yeah, Thank of you, course Ed. the football team. Yeah, I'm man. still out, guys. I'm still out. For bringing I that back no around stories. full circle. <laughs> Chris, what do you got, though? <laughs> well, let's get into some questions. <laughs> Bringing this back in. Let's go. Come on. We got right. email. We're hopping on Tim's back. Yeah, Carry us I've across got, the finish line, please. Let me let me carry you all, joke, <laughs> all you jokers, across the finish line. Oh, all right. We're at go. email. If you would like to email us, mailbag at marriedtothegames.com. We're gonna start with Wayne. Hey guys, playing catch up with this la- with the last few episodes. So sorry for the lateness with this comment. I have another reason for router to hate monkeys. Uh-oh. So when I, when I was about 15 years old, my mother dragged me to the zoo with the family. Mm -hmm. Being an awkward teenager, I was trying to act cool and not interested uh, the whole day. Finally, we arrive at the monkey enclosure, and there is a bunch of teenage girls. So I walk up all nonchalant to the cage and lean against it. Then all of a sudden, a monkey shoots his hand out of the fence, grabs me by the nose. I scream, but the monkey just (laughs) squeezes harder. When he finally lets go, I'm in a crumpled mess on the floor with all the girls I was trying to impress pointing and laughing. I hate monkeys to this day. Yes. How can you not love monkeys more? Thank you. Screw oh. those things. Absolutely. No, I love that. How are you trying to that. impress the ladies by leaning up against the monkey <laughs> pants? <laughs> <laughs> he was get just... them to like me? Come here, monkey. <laughs> so he wa- he just kind of walks up all nonchalant to the cage and leans against it and then gets... Mm, yeah. Great. He gets, yeah. Assaulted. I don't know. Um, Monkeys throwing off a, a teen's game. That's awesome. I mean, that's good. It's sinister. It's still, it's what, I can't it's stand what it. every teenage boy deserves anyway. Exactly. Yeah, well, there you go. That oh, is, Wayne, see. that is a great story. Oh, Thank you gosh. for that. I love that. that I love is that. That's funny. So I great. Hope that, I hope that he gets a vasectomy in the future and has flashbacks when he's got that, <laughs> those cold peas. <laughs> He's like, oh, I remember this the first time around. Oh yeah, I've got, I've had this similar sensation before. Yeah, oh, oh, sorry all the parents that are in the car. The kids are like, what's a vasectomy? <laughs> it's a car, all right. It's yeah, a, it is. It's foreign. It's, kinda, it's European. It's kind, it's kind of like a Prius. Yeah, yeah. That's it's right. an electric car. That's right. <laughs> Chris, what do you got? I'm still out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It wouldn't be an email without our boy Lucas Ham, and he right. has returned. Happy New Year to you, MTTG crew. Sorry, I'm a week late, but I'm here now, ready to celebrate a holiday with you. So let's check out some of the new holidays in 2017. Happy National Milk Day. I don't what? know about you guys, but I love a big, tall glass of milk. Chocolate I'm is skipping great, out but, on this one. Yep. But Blaine is still my go-to anytime, anywhere, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Am I right? Honestly, no. it is probably not a popular <laughs> opinion, and I know it, but don't really care because it tastes so good. So my question for hmm. you is this. What do you like, food or drink or something in entertainment like video games or movies? But you know most people don't, and that's okay because you either don't really care what they think or you like it so much. I love uh. the movie Avatar. Saw it three times in the theaters, and it was the first movie I watched when I got a Blu-ray player to some people, it's just Dances with Wolves mashed together with the animated movie Fern Gully, starring freakishly tall blue aliens oh, that have creepy funny. ponytails. But I still like it, and I could watch it over and over again. How about you, fellas? What do you like that you find most people don't, but you don't care because you like it so much? First off, happy Milk Day, everybody. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't Yay. like milk, man? Take milk your milk is out delicious. Of I don't like, uh-uh. Lactose and tolerant have... people. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, lactose, lactose intolerant. intolerant people. I like mil- I like milkshakes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh okay, that's good. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I do like chocolate milk. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have raised my daughter on chocolate milk right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Something that we like that we don't care if somebody else doesn't like it. I mean, I didn't know. I forget that Avatar was so that people didn't like that so much. I mean, it made a ton of money though. Someone it, liked it. It made a ton. It's definitely yeah. not an original story. Yeah, no, it's def- but... it's it's seen before just in a different way. Oh yeah, I mean, yes, uh, it's it's definitely like the worst. It's a rehash for sure. It's like you were not, sure. not even trying, but the yep. technology was cool. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. 
Um, what do I like that other people don't like? Man. Ooh. Eggnog? I, as as I, as the Christmas kind of came and went, you yeah. know, and I was pretty big on talking about eggnog, I didn't yeah, notice were. that <laughs> other people were like, yeah, not really into eggnog. I was like, oh. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's just me. Mm. So I guess eggnog. I really like eggnog. That much eggnog? Chris, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, heck no. Um, I can't think of... I'm not really Cowboys. sure. I'm going to stick with the movie as well. Yeah, I was going to um, say Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, no. Oh. Well, every, they're America's team. A lot of people love them. Y'all just weird. Yeah, that's, um, that's true. <laughs> the, uh, Five-year-olds all over the country. <laughs> you can say what you want, sir. I'm going to be watching yeah. my team in the playoffs next week. Yeah, you will. Hey, I'm... I'm I'm, I don't know if you watch any ESPN, but there's a guy, Stephen A. Smith, who's constantly dogging the Cowboys. Yeah, but he's from Philadelphia. Yeah, but he made a good point, though. He's still trying to hate the Cowboys, but he really loves Ezekiel Elliott and Dax Prescott. Yep. Hmm. Yep. And I'm definitely right there. And, I mean, Jason Witten and Toby are cousins. And so it's hard for us really? not to. Yeah, so I it's did hard not for us know not that. To, I did not know that. Yeah, so every now and then his family will come out to shows and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, that's Jason Wizard. You know, people freak out. But, you know, and so it's hard to not watch Witten play and not want him to do good. It's Toby's family. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. So it is, it's hard. I, I, I definitely find myself watching their game when the Titans aren't playing. Definitely I'll watch get, the Cowboys. Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you a Cowboys hat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> nice. I like that. Did you see the, did you see the, uh, the sign-up sheet that they sent out? Yeah, the Cowboys. That was uh-huh. so funny. That was it really like a good. bandwagon application or something. Yeah, like bandwagon that. fan bandwagon application. <laughs> That's brilliant. Whoever came. Yeah, up with that was that. really good. Their social team has actually been really on game this year. They've done a lot of That's really cool. neat stuff. So That's cool. But anyways, to go back to answering Mr. Lucas's question, I'm going to go with the movie because there's a movie that I have. I've seen it like probably 50 times. It's one of the few that I actually have on my iPad. Drop um, Dead but I don't think no, not Drop Dead Fred. <laughs> oh my um, god! But I don't know Drop anybody Dead else Fred. who actually likes this movie. Um, but it's Lost in Translation. Oh really yeah, like that's that. a good oh, one. Bill Murray. I love that movie. Yeah, I think a lot of people like. Most that. people that I know find it completely boring, and I, I get really? what they're going. I understand that, but like, it's one of the only. It's one of the few movies where, like, if I'm you know cleaning the house, like I'll throw it on the TV and just let it be, so that's I can awesome. just look up at it every now and then. I just love. I think it's such a beautifully shot movie. Are you a big Bill Murray fan? Yeah, I really like, like Bill Murray, like Rushmore but like and all those movies. Type no, movies. I mean, I, I, I like Bill Murray a lot, but I, I don't like he's not the reason I like that movie, really. He's the reason yeah, I, I initially it. saw it the first time, but he's not yeah. the reason that I, I loved it. I didn't see it, but I heard a lot of people like that movie. Yeah, I didn't know people didn't. You have to choose something else. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, there's just a, a lot of not a whole lot happens throughout the movie. It's just a bunch of yeah. really it's really beautifully visually, though. So people mm-hmm, are yeah. like, "Why well, so? I'm so bored. Why is nothing happening? Why aren't they talking about something?" It's like, yeah, "All right, well, yeah, most people that I've asked about it, be like, hey, you lost in transition.' Like, oh, I hate that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's what I heard about Sideways. I heard Sideways oh, that was, was so bored. good. Oh, yeah, Sideways is pr- pretty good too. What you got, Ed? Uh, Dido. Oh, no, you don't. You do not like Dido. Yes, I do. You do? The, like, yeah, my the... tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bad uh-huh. That whole Di- Life for Rent nah. CD was awesome. Wow, okay. Dido. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there it is. I mean, he nailed it right on the end. <laughs> that All is right. so surprising. Like, when's the last time you listened to some Dido? Last week. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Yeah, see, I'm really <laughs> floored right now. I'm like, really, Dido? Wow. Yeah. That that's like, is funny. That's really know, good. Man. Ed, man, you constantly surprise me. I love it. I try. That's why, that's why I miss you every day. <laughs> like, if you put a gun to my head and said, name a random, like, <laughs> it wouldn't have been as random as Dido. No, that, that takes a cake. Oh. Uh, and yeah, then man. they blow your brains out anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Because <laughs> uh, they learned something on Twitter. Exactly. exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep with our happy National Milk Day theme. And I'm going to raise the stakes for Mr. Lucas Ham because I love me some ice with my milk. The colder the oh, milk, the better. Really? And if you put ice in milk, and not everybody loves it, mm. but you put ice in milk and it is delicious. It's because it just makes it that much colder, which makes it that much more refreshing. The only time I could drink milk is after cereal. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And cereals yeah. got put us all sh- put all the sugar in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, go ahead and drink the rest of this. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a good one. Thank you, Lucas. I appreciate it as always. Dino. Moving on. <laughs> hey. All right, moving on to Facebook. D High, what is your favorite video game character of all time? Oh come on! Oh, gonna... oh really? That's not a fair question. Yeah, it is. Ugh. It's actually, I don't think it's one we've ever had before of all time hmm. video game character. Uh, it's so hard because my my nostalgia and what mm-hmm. he did for video games yes. wants to say Mario, but right. at the same time, he's not really a great character. Like he, yeah. he didn't have like any great powers. He was never super strong. He, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, yeah, what say a... you, Ed? Oh, Dido. Wow. Dido, right? Dido <laughs> with oh my with gosh. a cape. <laughs> uh. I, I kind of like you, Gabe. The nostalgia in me wants to say like Dexter from Space Ace. Oh but, yes. Uh, the, but the current gamer in me wants to say, you know, like Nathan Drake. Right. right so right, right. Uh, somewhere in the middle right, there's well, the answer. Let's break it. Let's break it up. Nostal- favorite nostalgic, nostalgic video game character, and then favorite present uh, current yeah. character. I, I mean, like it was that. Tiny Tina, Tiny Tina for all of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, Chris. Nostalgic uh, n- and, and nostalgic, recent. Nostalgic, I'm going to say uh, Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid. I don't oh. even know what that is. He was one of the enemies, one of the bosses you had to fight. He was Psycho. Okay. Yeah, he had psychic powers. He was really cool. He was the one who you had to switch the controller and put it in the other port to more easily beat him. Yes. I oh, didn't play that one. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I can read uh, your mind. Current, current one? Uh, current. Oh, man. You know... It, I probably would have to say like Joel and Ellie, like couple of them together because nice. they're just yeah. really, really good characters. I, That's good. Because I, I actually, I don't really do this with most characters in video games. Like they'll be I, like, I really like Solid Snake and all these other things like that. But I find myself feeling like I care about Joel and Ellie. Like I care. Mm-hmm. Like when that yeah, trailer happened, happened that we reacted to and, and you see and you know, and I'm like, wait, 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 is it really Joel? And then you just hear his voice. It's like, oh, yes, like all these like emotions flood in because mm. you care about them and their story and what's going on with them. That's yeah, good. That's good. There's not too many characters I actually have those kind of feelings for. Tim, since your retro is three years ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will say, um, I think, uh, well, I'll go it's back. You. Uh, said for I'll retro, go back I say Nathan Drake for recent. I say Nathan now, Drake. <laughs> for retro, it's going to be, it's, it's Dirk the Daring from Dragon's Lair. Definitely. Oh, so nice. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll yeah. go Dirk the Daring for Dragon Slayer. And for, from for, Dragon Slayer 2? <clears throat> no, yeah. just Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer 2, <laughs> I, have, I have blocked out of my mind. The mother in law from Dragon Slayer 2. <laughs> the mother in law from Dragon Slayer 2. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then, my Daphne kidnapped again? Idiot. Yep. <laughs> and, and mine is going to be both Joel and Ellie. Now that I'm playing it again, yeah. like the interaction between both of them like the tension when they start off together and then how you actually you like I am seeing their relationship grow as I'm playing this game and actually yeah. feel feeling that too and mm-hmm. when a video game does something like that it's it's pretty magical so I'm I'm there that's Dang awesome it man retro I think I'm going to have to go I'm not going to say he was the first character with a lot of attitude uh but I think I'm going to go Sonic Oh, nice. Ooh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was the first one. Uh, it was weird because I used to be a Dragon Ball Z uh, fan of that anime cartoon. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah? they would do this thing called soup. They'd go Super Saiyan. And I had no idea that that's what Sonic did when Sonic went, you know, when you collected whatever, all the gems or whatever. And then at 50 mm-hmm. coins, you could jump in the air and he would turn all yellow. Yeah. That he was going Super Saiyan because that hadn't made it to America yet. No, wow. yeah. And Interesting. So years later, I'm like, oh, that's what that was back, you know, when I oh, was that's a child. Funny. Yeah, oh, very cool. Huh. Um, so I'm gonna say Sonic, and I'm kind of on the fence, man. Something inside me wants to say like, and this is really random, but maybe just because I connected with him a little bit. Um, something inside me wants to say like Lee Everett. Oh or yeah, like that's that. good. Yeah, like, man. I loved, I That'll loved work. Lee and how that's- he wanted to protect oh, and yeah, you know, the man. decisions that he was put up against and how hard it was. And I just remember like, that was one of the games 
That and what was that other game that me and, me and you played, Ed? Was it a was it Sniper Elite Two or something like that? That was really dark and had really oh. hard decisions in it. I don't remember what game it was. Anyway, it was one of those few games where I'm going, "Oh, come on, man! Seriously?" When I'm looking at the choices I have to make, hmm. And it mm. just felt like sometimes there wasn't a good choice, you know. And you're like, "Damn, we gotta do this anyway," you know? Wow. So I don't know, man. I, I liked Lee a lot. Yeah. It's either yeah, that a or uh, or a homeboy from Infinite. Oh yeah, I liked him too. The lead guy from he was Bioshock cool. Infinite. Booker, yeah, Booker, Booker yeah. yeah, Booker. Yeah, I liked him. That's awesome. Great question. Thank you for that. Let's yeah, move that on. Yeah, that was a tough one, man. Yeah, it was yeah. a tough one, but I'm glad we broke it up that way because I think it made it a little. Yeah, good idea. That was a good idea. Uh, Johan yeah, Svensson. Just kidding. Yeah, you. <laughs> Johan Svensson, can we all pretty please start a GoFundMe so we can get Gabe to play Resident Evil on VR and put on your YouTube channel? Oh, Boom. I mean, come, why? For what? You don't want me on the show anymore? No, man. You want me to die? Be, want me to have a heart it would attack? be amazing. That's why we need to raise amazing. the money so we can care for you afterwards. <laughs> right. exactly. That's why it's a GoFundMe so put page. Put me at a home. Yeah. All your therapy just to get you to actually speak again. Yeah, just, yeah. exactly. That's, that's, the, the, that's what the GoFundMe page is uh, yeah, for. I'm exactly. Through that seventy five dollars depends on right. cheap. Yeah, that's right. Sure. <laughs> and we got to pay somebody to change them. I'm mean, <laughs> yeah. curled up I'll, in a ball someplace. Gabe, I'll do it for you. No, the yeah. answer is no. We can't start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that. That's when Gabe says no. That's when he says no. <laughs> when I offer to change his diaper. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I see how it is. Let's move oh. on, shall we? <clears throat> All right. Sherry Crow, since they didn't report on it last week, how were Chris and Gabe's presents to their wives received? I know they felt oh, fairly yeah. confident. That they had chosen well, but inquiring minds want to know the outcome. Chris, what you got? It. Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I took it back. She took it back. So I got her. Um, so Stacy, one of the few like items she kind of has splurged on in the past is she bought this set of a uh, Bose earbuds for like so that when she's working out, she could connect those to her phone, and that's oh yeah, oh used. nice. Rather than just like the ones that come with your phone, she wanted this Bose set. And mm -hmm. um, what I did is I went ahead and bought her the wireless Bluetooth one so that she wouldn't have to be tethered to her phone because I just well kind of poking and prodding. She was like, oh, you know, yeah, they work really great. But, oh, man, sometimes the cord wraps around because the Bose one, the mm. cord is really long. So that's good. But then when you're like on a treadmill and your phone's not that far from you, the cord ends up like falling down while she's running or right. whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I got her some wireless ones and she's been enjoying them. She actually started this new um, workout that this new place where it's kind of like a personal trainer, like like a spin class, but not, I mean, she's not on a bike the whole time, but it's like somebody's like leading the class the whole time. So she can't oh, cool. use them there. So she hasn't got to use them a ton, but whenever she goes to the other gym and she actually started using them in the car, like just to answer the phone rather than using the earbuds that are wired that way, you know, it's one less thing she's got to be tethered to. So. Yeah. That's mm. awesome. Yeah. But she really likes them. That's she did. really cool. Nice. Yeah. Good. Well, like when she unwrapped them, did she, was it like, yes, I nailed it? Or was it like, yeah. she was like, was oh, sweet. Successful? Yeah, I mean, she was happy, but she wasn't like elated, like over the moon kind of happy. Yeah, of but yeah, it's, it's <laughs> one of those like, things oh, where like once she opens earbuds. it and I got it set up for her and Thank I asked her, you. like, this is how it works. And she's like, the more she uses it and learns about it, she's like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. Just like her Fitbit I got her last year. Oh, nice. There yeah. you go. What about yeah. you, Gabe? You had a lot of pressure on yourself. I yeah, did. You did. Uh, I got Jenny an Apple Watch. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Hey. Um, and so, cause you know, I like to be uh, two years behind. Um, <laughs> sure. I keep my girl in old tech. Um, but uh, she actually really liked it. So here's what's funny. She had like told me that she wanted something and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then she had actually sent me like a link, like, Hey, if you don't give me the other thing, here's the other thing I want. And it w it was a watch. Mm -hmm. It was like this nice. gold watch. And I was like, oh, Okay. Um, but I was like, shoot, man, I really want to get her the Apple Watch, though. But would this be a terrible idea? Hmm. Um, and so she opened it and she saw that it was a watch and she thought it was the gold watch mm. at first. So ah. she kind of like she, she kind of like just chuckled like, oh, yeah, you got the thing. And that is what sold me on not wanting to give stuff off the list, because the mm. way she kind of just smirked like, yeah, this is what I sent you. Oh, thanks. I was like, that's not uh, what you're saying. Yeah. Gotcha. And so. And so this is what happens. So she unwraps it. She sees the thing. She goes, ah, cool. You got me the, wait, wait, 
What? No, babe. Seriously? Ah, and she was awesome. nice. smiling big awesome. and well really enjoying it. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. That's the response you want. Not like the, yeah, that's exactly. That's what I showed you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so nice, man. Well done. Yeah. Good yeah. job, man. Good on I was, you. I was happy about it. Good on both of you guys. Good yeah, job. Good job, Chris. Thank All you, right. Sir. Let's move on to Twitter. At uh, at Mike BC nineteen eighty five early predictions who's winning the Super Bowl I'm hoping for the Cowboys to go all the way but I there think you the go. Pats will good man look at <clears> his <throat> avatar no. he doesn't look five he said he thinks but he thinks the Pats are gonna do it yeah but he thinks the Pats are, are gonna win I know but and I don't honestly there's not been any rookie that's ever led and won a Super Bowl so you know records are meant to be broken so maybe it'll be the first but the odds are that Cowboys are not gonna win the Super Bowl. More than likely, it, I mean, it would be. Get there. It would be pretty amazing, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm ha- I'm happy with what we have because I mean, our future looks bright. So, like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. expecting you guys us. Are gonna be good. I feel like we can beat Green Bay, but if and if we get to the NFC Championship and it ends there, I will be happy. It's been a great season. So yeah, um, I want. <laughs> Here's the problem: I want three teams to win, <laughs> and that's not the way the Super Bowl that's works. That's not fair. No, it's <laughs> not. It's um, like a couple I'd years be, I wanted no team to win, and that's not how it works. Exactly. That's Here's not how thing. that works for any competitive sport. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. All but three get to win. Um, except for you guys a soccer team. <laughs> yeah, apparently. The soccer team you coached. Um, yep. <laughs> the, uh, I want either the, the Cowboys for Chris. Yeah. Nice. Um, the Packers for uh, Bradley Check. Or Bradley C, as you guys know him, who has the arcade. He was on yep. like episode oh, six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he does a lot of the. Um, I forget what he does, but he does something with the Packers during the season because mm-hmm. he's a DJ by trade, like oh, a nice. radio, a radio <clears throat> DJ. So he like goes to some. So as the the longer they're in, <laughs> the longer they're playing, the longer he gets to work. Nice uh, as a side thing for the Packers. So he's gotten to meet the players and stuff like that. Really cool. That's cool. Uh, and then, of course, you know, because we know Ben, you know, if the Steelers win, then that'd be awesome, too. Mm. Ed? Mm. Are you <laughs> are you sure you don't have four teams? Chim, Mr. chimney, Gabe? chim, chimney, chim, chim, tree. Did I say four? No, you said three, but are you sure you, there's not a fourth? Like a, Should, maybe a Seattle for Stancil? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Dang, Stancil. <laughs> That's what I thought your third person Stancil. was going to be. I love that he didn't even Stancil. think of it. <laughs> I want four teams to win. Yeah, there you go. That's definitely not how it works. You don't have to lie. Because here's the problem, though. We went into, you know, we got to go into their locker room, and we, I went to Russ's, because, you know, I know him as Russ. Right, sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> I went to Russell Wilson's locker. Tim had dinner had, with Cinderella. That's right. Exactly. I know. I'm, what do you sorry, got? I'm trying to, to start. I'm trying to upstage you. Um, and he has like this list of uh, things that he wants to accomplish, and like just on the man side of things, because he had like a gaming one, like as far as what he wanted to accomplish in football, and then just like as a man, mm-hmm. the things that he wanted to accomplish, and the stuff on the man side was like, oh snap, this yeah, dude he's is legit. Dope. Mm. He's legit. Yeah. So even beyond yeah. just for Stancil, like. For Russell Wilson, and, I, and they've really had to fight this season. This season has not been as easy as some past seasons for those guys. Yeah. And so, I, yeah, if they win two, I'd be happy. I'd be happy if all <laughs> four of those teams, like, I'd be very happy if all four of those, I just don't want the Patriots to win. No, that's, I'm with you. We can I, all I get on want, board with that. Yeah, we can all get on board. <laughs> I do not want the Patriots to win. Who, I would who's, lo- who's even left? Is that like almost everybody? No, <laughs> man. Because my honestly, like, I'm predicting. <laughs> I have a feeling Kansas City's going to go pretty far. They're nah, a man. solid, nah, uh, they're a solid team, nah. but it would be uh, like, and they haven't won it in forever. So I would love to see like a team that hasn't won it in a while win it. Yeah, I, well, see, I, that's here's kind the of other my thing. wish for for every Super Bowl. It's like like yeah. Dallas, they're a dynasty. We get it. Pittsburgh, they're a dynasty. We get it. Like Pats, they're a dynasty. We get it. Let's let's. Let's, yeah, Seattle just won it three years ago. Yeah, all right, let's flip mm. the script. And, man, if Kansas City could win it, that'd be awesome. But you know what would also be cool? Which, again, this I know for sure this is not happening. But it would be cool if Houston went because they'd be the first team to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. In their own, yeah. In uh, their that own, would be uh, pretty cool, yeah. And if then if Dallas went, it'd be the first time that two Texas teams were against each other, too. If yeah, it was Dallas true. and Houston. 
That's true. Houston's not, not going to make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, Can you imagine? They, they, they're against the Patriots this weekend. That's not happening. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you don't bet against the Patriots. <laughs> yep. Uh, I yep. mean, you know, they're not a perfect team by any means, but, you know. No, but the Patriots are something like a 12-point favorite right now or something. That's crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, it's awesome. Ed? The freaking <laughs> Patriots. Who's left on that team? <laughs> no one. Uh, who? What? Who's left on that team? No one. On the Patriots? Are, yeah, man. I'm sick of it. All right. <laughs> Chris, what do you got? Are, are you just making up stuff? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's... I think he's saying, like, besides Tom Brady, who's on the... Who's, like, really the popular person on the, pa- on the Patriots. <laughs> I do not think he's saying that. No, you don't think he's saying that? No, he's just making stuff up. <laughs> what? I can't concentrate on football while I'm thinking about the chimney sweeps on the ceiling. <laughs> hey, there you go. Jeez. Oh, oh my God. All right, at Jamie Bissett, 2016 was the year of the monkey, seriously. But 2017 is the year of the chicken. So who is it? It was the in... year of the monkey? Yeah, and we didn't knew? even know that? Oh. No wonder I had a crappy year. Uh, so who is it in, in MTTG that hates chickens? I, I mean, love me some chickens. I love chickens. I love chickens. Yeah. We all know that Dave Chappelle said that I it's in the encyclopedia that I love chickens. Yeah, well, so, there you have it. When they're fried. Yep. Yeah, man. Uh, at Brad Kabowski, <laughs> love the show, guys, and love being a part of Router's Morning Crew. My question hey. is, who is your celebrity crush? Mm. Brad Pitt. Mm. Yeah, you got Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, hands down. as a really? handsome man there. I like uh, Brad Pitt. Huh. I am I'm digging the rock right now. Dwayne, oh, yeah. he is just a good guy, and I follow him on Instagram, and just some of the stuff that he posts is, is awesome, and yeah, he's just a beast, man. It's I'm a time between him. Brad Pitt and uh, Hugh Jackman, probably. Mm. Nice. This is probably not at all the answers he was looking for, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ed, you want to go ahead and name a man? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny that we both like, go to, like, even, our man crushes. I, I, yeah, I didn't even think about it, like, until you did either. yours. I, I was either. like, did we no. both just name guys? Yeah, we just named dudes. Uh, how, Way to go. Was, like, yeah. without, a, without a second thought, Brad yeah. Pitt, no, for sure. No, like, Ooh. with conviction. We said it with conviction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Had, had reasonings. We right. thought yep. about this. Yep. Uh, Ed? Yeah, I'm going with George Clooney. There you go. Uh, like, uh, like a George good guy Clooney is awesome. Mm-hmm. Nice. Chris, are you going to be the only one? No, Hold no, no. On, we're we're gonna go. We're gonna go back and do best uh, the, uh, celebrity female crush. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we're splitting it up again. Hey, good idea. Let's e- yeah. <laughs> let's even this out. Chris, what do you got? Uh, my celebrity male crush uh, is James Hetfield from Metallica. <laughs> Who? Yeah. James Hetfield. That guy's cool. Oh, of course. Nice. Who's that? Yeah, that he is awesome. cool. Lead singer. He's from a Metallica? lead singer of Metallica. Oh, the Lisa. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. I was about to say, y'all got to help me out. You just can't say we're from Metallica. There's you more can't... than one guy in Metallica. Gabe's like, you can't name your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Jimmy right. down the street, he's awesome. What's the game? What's his name? James what? James Hetfield. Hetfield. Yeah. Sweet. Yep. All right. All right, Tim, you kick it off. The Female ladies. celebrity crush. Oh, man, I don't know. Uh... See, this is a shame because I don't know either. I don't know why I knew the man so quick. Yeah, I'm like, dang, I, what girl? I, I've actually, like, I dig Jennifer Lawrence because she's just so down to earth. And that's, yeah, that's yeah. kind of really sexy, too. So, sure. uh, and, and she's she's a beautiful girl. And I just, I think we could hang. I think she's cool. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm she'd be Jennifer too weird Lawrence. for you, to tell you the truth. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, Girl celebrity crush. You know, it's hard not to just say Halle Berry. Oh, yeah. Halle Berry. She's gotten cheated on a bunch. And so she must be weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because she's. Well, you know, she's crazy. She's well, the she just, crazy. She's been cheated on by like four guys. And you're like, I know. what the heck? Just so she must wrong. be weird. Something's must, wrong there. She, yeah, she's the, <laughs> the common denominator. She was a cat woman. <laughs> Dude. Uh, so <laughs> let's go. Uh, I'm going to go Bo Derek. What? She Bo Derek. Current That's Bo your Derek? crush? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, Winnie Cooper. <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, all right, yeah. we're getting there. 
<laughs> she's under 70. Dude, that's you, good. Had, you had me at Halle Berry. Just stick with that. That's yeah. fine. I mean, we all know I she's know, probably crazy. I know, I talked myself off the cliff. I haven't, I haven't thought this and through then went on the to female Bo side. Derek? Of... <laughs> Bo Derek was you beautiful back in the day. You went from Halle Berry to Bo Derek. Yeah, in, back in the day. Yeah. I don't know even, what she looks like now. I don't even know if she's alive. Even in yeah, Tommy exactly. Boy, it was like, oh, the black lagoon creature's coming out the water. No kidding. Oh. I don't even know what that means. Oh, oh man. okay. Okay, I'm too young for Bo Derek. Chris, maybe. what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta go Ed first. Ed, Ed was next. Uh, I want to go Kristen Wiig. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, a good one. Yeah. Sit around and laugh a lot. Kristen, Kristen I don't know who that is. <laughs> what was she oh. in? From SNL. Oh, okay. Bridesmaids. 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 Mm-hmm. SNL. Just kidding. She's <laughs> and she's really pretty too. I like lead singer of Metallica. Oh yeah, yeah, she's fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's the lead singer of Metallica. Lead singer of Bridesmaids. <laughs> lead singer of Bridesmaids. All right, Chris. Uh, I don't even know what this girl's name is. It's um, Dak <laughs> Shepard's yeah. wife. That's a good start. Oh, uh, I Kristen I Bell. Oh, uh, you don't start yeah, off by Kristen saying Bell. somebody's wife. Lord Kristen have mercy. Bell. Yeah, Kristen Bell. That's good. She's, no, that's I, a good one. I mean, I don't I even. She's sweet. Like, yeah, they look. They look like they have a lot of fun. They'd be cool to hang yeah. out with. Yeah, I don't. I'm they not interested. Do. Yeah, they look they like they were playing a, a board like game, were, by the way. Did yeah, you see I know. That? I saw that clip where they were like, "Oh yeah, after this Golden Globes, we're just gonna play board games." I'd never heard of that game, the Love one they that. were playing either. But that was awesome. Yep. Um, Bo Derek is sixty, by the way, and still looking pretty <laughs> look beautiful. Look at you! Look at uh, you getting the getting those older women. Well done. I mean, ain't Holly Berry like sixty? Um, Holly Berry doesn't, doesn't look like Bo Derek. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, but Come on, man. Oh my god. Holly Berry. Holly Berry's Holly not Berry. near sixty. I bet. Miss Berry. Miss Barrett. No, I know Berry. she's not. She's not sixty. Yeah, no. I have all these freaking girls on my search history on Google <laughs> just so I can see what's going on here. She's all fifty. Right. Holly Berry's go. fifty. I'm too young for all these guys. All right, Brad. Thanks for that. Yeah, we appreciate good question. it. Sorry. Moving on. At at Jenna Shelley. If you could team up with one of the famous butt kickers for a movie, who would it be? Arnold, that, Stallone, okay. Chan, Norris. Uh, oh, just out of those? No, I'm just one of the famous. The list? She, she was like giving examples, like just who would you yeah. pick? Mm. Oh, Bruce Lee. Really? Oh, for sure. What? Dude, nice. Ab- nice. Yes, absolutely. I'm be with like you on water, that one. Be like water, my friend. Be, be like what? Yeah. Oh, you get poured yes. into a cup, you become the cup. You get poured into the kettle, you become the kettle. Be like water, I'm with you, man. Friend. That's a yeah. good one. Bruce wow. Lee. I love that. Ed? Bruce Willis. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Touche, Mr. Placentia. Like Touche. Ooh, Holly Berry is five, five. Maybe Holly Berry. Really? <laughs> hey, stop looking Holly at Halle Berry. Berry. We're on the next question. <laughs> we have moved on, man. It was, it was you have joke. locked in your votes. Uh, you have locked right. in your <laughs> votes. That's my final answer. <laughs> Chris? Uh, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, Statham. Oh, Jason nice. Jason Statham. I like him. Nice. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, why not? He's, he's awesome. He's awesome. Oh, he picks bad movies, though. He's, he's awesome in him, though. Yeah, he uh, is. Is he? He raises, he elevates a bad movie to a pretty good movie. Yeah, and I just yeah. he's gonna kick butt, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, don't mess with me, or my friends gonna. Be <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm gonna be doing all day. So. That's amazing. That's right. Yeah. I'm just gonna go and be like, uh, yeah, that's our seat. Oh, it's he's not. De- uh, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Uh, he's definitely like the guy that like if somebody said, hey, what body type would you like to have? I'd be like Jason Statham, like without yeah. even thinking about it, because hmm. I know he's short too. And he's just like, and yeah. bald. So. <laughs> that fit, it's perfect. Well done. So, I mean, you know, I'm only two steps away from. <laughs> you're there, man. You are there. Man. You, yeah, are there. you got right. that yeah. going on. Exactly. Summer body. Here we come. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tim, right. did you say one? Uh, I'm with you on with Bruce Lee. I think that's a good one. Wow, nice. I really, yeah. I really like that one. I mean, he uh, like fought people for real, dude. He was. A lot of the people we named, I've never heard of being in a real fight. Yeah, so. I just, yeah, and yeah, that's a good one, man. I like that. Even and though Liam Neeson's a close second. Oh, nice. <laughs> he's that one joke of, got yeah. a, a particular set of skills, so. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> does. Look out now. Uh, He'll make a phone call. Yeah, he, he will. will. Call a buddy we're or gonna, two. We're going to end on some really 
great news at uh, at the Dark Legend, Zach Ald. So my wife and I are on the way to the hospital to meet our first little boy. Oh, what tips? Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. So what Yay. what tips do you have? Bring it home from the hospital. I'm just kidding. Don't drop it. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't drop it. Well you done, everybody. Drive, <laughs> drive, Shake it drive a lot. It home. <laughs> driving home, getting some food. You're like, hey, oh snap, we left the baby at the hospital. <laughs> Um, hey, babe, you want to go to a movie? Oh, I Johnny, would, um, where are you? <laughs> exactly. Baby. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> um, I would say that uh, take her easy. And it's a boy. Uh, <laughs> I never understand. <laughs> um, and just uh, communicate through the tiredness yep. that you and your wife are about to go through. Talk it out. Don't let anything. Don't let stuff build up. Go ahead, get it off your chest, even if you don't feel like it makes sense, because you're going to be working on it, you know, out of exhaustion for the first, probably th- depending on the baby, but the first two weeks can be a little, can be really trying. And she's not been getting good sleep, yep. but you might not have been getting bad sleep. So her body's mm. already a little bit acclimated to not sleeping well, where yep. you're not that way. Mm. So I would say, uh, that's good. Just c- communicate through it. You guys will be. You guys, you, the, the good parenting thing falls in line. It does. It really does. I was going to say. Love the baby. It all go good. Exactly. And I would say whatever you've read prior to all of this, all of the books and all the research and everything, yep. throw that out the window yep. because when it, when it actually happens and when you're present with your, with your child, you just, you guys will go and figure it out on your own. That's what we did. Gabe, I know that's what you and Jenny did. Like yep. you guys will, you guys will have your own routine that may or may not work for other people who have written all this, uh, all these books or done all these research. You do you. You figure out what works best for you. And as long yep. as you guys are together as a team on it, you're going to be just fine. Hmm. Congratulations, Amen. man! It is it is pretty. It's a pretty amazing journey. It. <laughs> Chris, well, what just, you got? Just Chris, judging what from. You got? <laughs> I don't have a kid, but I've uh, I've, right. I've had some pets. So yes. there you go. If he does, it's good practice. Exactly. I'm just my only really a piece of advice is if he has an accident, just rub his nose in it. Hey! Oh my gosh! Well done, <laughs> Chris. Oh, uh, walking <laughs> at least twice a day. There you go. See, because it's good to ask people though that don't have kids because you've all been around people with kids that are annoying, mm-hmm. and so it's kind of like, what would you like to see them not do? Yeah. Yeah. Just let them cry in the middle of the mall. Like, stop letting your baby just cry in the middle of the mall. Like, <laughs> he'll get over it. It's fine. You're like, what? just take it to the bathroom quick. Yep. When when he yep. gets old enough to learn right from wrong, make sure that you make sure that he knows right from wrong. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's go. right. Punish that yep. child. Yeah. He yeah, didn't see true. it coming. You didn't <laughs> no. see it coming. He was so sweet as a baby. You don't want to be the guy in the mall going, Brandon, come on. Just come on, please. Right. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> one. Brandon, you are, you are one. so embarrassing me. You want a timeout? Yeah, they don't. You want a timeout? One, <laughs> two. If you say more, if you say, I'm going to start spanking the parent if they say one more than seven times. Yeah. Right. Richard, Richard, one. Richard, one. <laughs> two. Yep. Richard, we are not playing around. One. <laughs> Make sure that kid meets a bunch of ducks. That's right. AKA a paddling. <laughs> <laughs> a paddling, paddling of ducks. yeah, boy. That's what <laughs> right. I'm talking about. Oh my gosh! All right, question of the week for you guys. Lord have mercy, this show. This is awesome. It's our best uh, one ever. Is, oh no! <laughs> is it though? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah. Uh, um, oh man! Uh, question I mean, of the it's week good. It's you. up there. Yeah. Remember that time we used to have listeners? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That was so great. <laughs> Instead um, of just the four of us talking. Right. Um, the question of the week is what game did you like, but you fell off of and you kind of weren't expecting it? Mm. Mine, uh, for example, mine was The Walking Dead. I played season one. Like I just said, I loved Lee Everett. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I like I think I and then I played the DLC, the 400 days or whatever. Mm. And I think I start and I, you know what? I didn't even start season two. Never even played season wow, two. Wow, really? And I own it. Uh, but wow. I don't think I even have plans to play it. Wow. So that, that one was mine. Uh, Chris. Ah, jeez. Um, 
I don't know about one that I started and I liked it and then fell out of love with. Um, no, but, no, no, not fell out of love. Like I didn't fall out of love with it. I just like for some reason just, just not playing looked it. up and I'm not playing it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you got to where you didn't like it anymore. Yeah, you're not. Right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would, not yeah. That'd be Destiny. I played mm. ah, a lot of yeah. that, and I, I mean, I played a lot of it when the new expansion came out earlier, like in the fall. But even like now, like I haven't played it in. Since yeah, dude, you October. played the mess out of that back in the yeah. day. Yeah, I haven't played it expansion. since Extra Life. So whenever that oh, was. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was first weekend, first weekend in November. Yep. There you go. Ed? Uh, probably Battlefront. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, okay. I really yeah, liked that a lot that. and uh, just haven't played it. Star Wars? Yeah. yeah. Just kind of stopped playing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tim? Oh, man, it's, it's Fallout. Cause I played the mess out of Fallout 3 and then got to Fallout 4, played for a little bit, and then I'm like, mm, nah, I'm, I'm just not motivated to get back into that. Fell out. Yeah. Yeah, mm. fell out. <laughs> yeah, Fallout <laughs> fell out, man. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Well, let us know, guys, what game were you liking, going along, playing it, nothing's wrong with it, and then for some reason you look up and you haven't been playing it anymore. Mm. Let us know. I don't know how I'm going to get that down to 160 characters, but we'll work it out. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Use hashtag MTTG. Or, you know, it's always on, over at the forums. Thank you guys for listening, especially to this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're still around next week. <laughs> Actually, it's more like thanks for listening to next week's. Because <laughs> they didn't know this was yeah. coming. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. If you stick around. Yeah, we really love you. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That's Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games. And we're up out this thing. Peace.